Good evening, everyone, and welcome to. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this. No, week's episode. I have it. <laughs> Oh no. I can't believe anyone. Ah, oh, too nice. Ah, that was good. You finished? No, but I've got Cut. it. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a soft spike. That shit. <laughs> Broke did it. Hello, oh, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Eat, Crip, and Survive, brought to you by the Game and Warrior. Some friends have gathered around the table, and also Dom is digital. Digital! <laughs> digital! We have gathered to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. I've never felt <laughs> less ready. <laughs> 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 What's less ready? Less ready? Did you not know? <laughs> I didn't know the song, so that made me oh. like less of a nerd. It's on Crunchyroll, I'll show it to you later. I know what Digimon is. He'll wanted. disappoint you again later. <laughs> 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 Get ready to hear that on the wedding night. You should Wait. have heard the cackle at Amy and Richard's wedding. It was an absolute cackle. It was. Yeah, it was. They were they were concerned. <laughs> um, you know, Richard's cauldron appear and uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That turned up in the mother-in-law's speech. <gasps> Ooh! What you say? There was! My mum did a speech! Cut that out of my presentation right. for yeah, the sorry, mother speech. <laughs> a mother-in-law too rich and technically too loose. Yes. Laura's mother did a speech. Laura's mother-in-law to be you. Yes. Yes. And the father of the bride, the mother of the bride, the, the Everyone groom. had a fucking cow about it. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, groom yeah, and then the best man and then the, the father of the groom. Bork of the bride. Sorry, I'm thinking for dice, this is probably terrible for your It's not very terrible. Let me help you. I mean, Don will be able to tell us how bad it is, because it is a directional weapon. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Yeah. Oh, if you want to get if you want to get these noise making table <laughs> accessories, <laughs> you can go to our friends at Game Tea at Game Tea. Forward slash Secret Survive. Yeah, you can you get yourself. I mean, I drive here. I don't walk. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're not he does walk here, but he also plays it in his bag of holding. Ah. Also available at Game Tea. Ah, <laughs> oh, the bag of holding. I don't know which camera's better. This one. This one, this one probably. This one. There you go. Yes, you can go to GameTeam.co.uk forward slash Ecrit Survive and get yourself a 5% discount at checkout for all, all the fun stuff. They do dice, they do posters, they do that dice container. <laughs> they do <laughs> that! that. <laughs> I found it. They do books, but... they do one for notebooks, and, and all, books. all sorts of fun stuff. So go and check out King T as, in, yeah, the posters, they're great. Connor and I both have a set of the rather fantastic. Um, I do. Oh, the, 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 the hookers. Pinup yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> There's the pin of girls. girls. <laughs> Not the hookers. The Jesus. Girls. Have some respect. Get I purchased them, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I can't have what I want. I can't have what I want. Wow, posse. <laughs> <laughs> they watch the telly with me, all right? <laughs> That's just your harem. I would have been like, huh? your harem. Yeah. Just an insight of what you've been like, like 20 years ago. Yeah. I mean, dead because he's ginger, so yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah. drowned at birth. He's breaking himself, he would not have been kept alive. Moroccan sunset, let's call it. <laughs> <laughs> Got you like colour chart, have you? Yeah. Does that need a porn star Yeah, I can go with that. I yeah. wouldn't be bad with that. No, I no. think that catch up. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> I thought you were going to play colour chart with this. Just throw some dark. Oh, dear. Anyway. Now, now, the title of this episode. That's a sword. Pod is going to try and yeah. wedge that in somewhere. Uh, we still got channel points. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've still got enough. Pretty good. You, could, you, can, you can redeem the channel points. If you go to twitch.tv slash gaming forum, you can go and check out our board game content as we play our live playthroughs. And you can redeem channel points to do stuff to do here. And oh, fireworks are going off. Is this still an option to take turns for someone on there? 
Interesting. <laughs> you'd, you'd know, but <laughs> I don't watch your streams anymore. <laughs> 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 I'm working while you play. Aww. I'm, I'm never available to buy the board game ones either. So no. no. Weirdly, I remember you saying, oh, the Monday ones are going to be better for me. <laughs> <laughs> never does. Nah, no, that's fine. It's okay. To be fair, you're usually playing board games with him more than that, no. more than streaming. It's true. Does happen. That's Tuesdays. We do on Tuesdays. Yeah. Anyway, mm. <laughs> that is all the Anyhow. all the flim flam and the tittle tattle and all the stuff out of the way. So let's get into the recaps. Whichever of you three feels like going first. Well, it's well, very, it's very brief. I was going to say yours is, is about the same length as mine. So. Yours is just a prophecy. Yeah, I've got the last little bit. You're a bit. Session thirty six. Mm. We have a hippo. Pod. He scares me. He's my new friend. <laughs> His strengths are strength, dexterity, and charisma. <laughs> um, Cassian, None of these things have turned out to be true. <laughs> Cassian tries to flirt. Jam is for breakfast. Yeah. Laura wrote a haiku, apparently. I did! <laughs> Episode 36. What was, the break, the break, yeah. Yeah. what was the name of the person you were flirting with? Shannon! Uh, Shannon. Shannon. Episode 36. Oh, the hippo in the room. That was the Very good. I visited the bees. With Ivy and the bee speaker, I couldn't write down her name quick enough. <laughs> I thought I'd been given two barrels of honey, but alas, they were for everyone. How disappointing. I was then left <laughs> to scale the Great Wall alone, but the view was spectacular. And yeah, Clover is the other. <laughs> it is literally it's like, now. You can see that I started to write it and missed it and went to <laughs> Tom, would you like to give us the slightly fuller recap? Yeah, like the Chronicle. <laughs> you like to open chapter seven of your novel? Entry seven. Yes. We have made a new friend. Pod, a hippo man. He was newly arrived in Postinga, and after communing with the gods, he came straight over to me and addressed me as the nameless Hellspawn. Harsh, but true, I suppose. He seemed to know at least Isari and Grit, too, and informed us he would be coming with us. We might have to get some clothes made for him, though. Over dinner, we introduced ourselves well. properly and tried to get a grip of what Pod can do. Isari beat him in an arm wrestle despite my attempts to help him. And then Grit threw a hammer at him. I think oh. expecting him to catch it, he blasted it with magic, which put a bit of a damper on the atmosphere. Cassian and Grit helped him to find a house while Isari and I went back to the one we took ourselves. When they got back, I had a brief conversation with Cassian and Grit about tieflings, prompted by something in Elijah's note. They had a friend named Caleb, who died in the prison at Sevenheim. I wonder if that has something to do with Elijah's shenanigans. In the morning, I headed straight to the library. Don't know what happened with the others. I'm sure it wasn't that interesting. I found the last ingredient of healing potions. As luck would have it, it's raw honey from giant bees. I decided to talk to the farmers about cultivating the plants for it. And on the way, I met the others coming the other way. I think Pod went to see the bees. He is sorry, and, Pod, and I've written the wrong name. Cassian? Uh, Cassian, yes. Went to find a tanner. Pod definitely needs more clothes. Well, Grit, Grit came with me. Darius was happy to help. He's aware of shadow nettles. They grow quite happily here. But for the ma matry wall route, he showed us a magical shed made of glass, which was warm inside. <laughs> I did warn him it was poisonous. Yeah. That is the best description of a glass house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Glass. 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 So our intrepid group of adventurers had returned to Fossfinger and had come across a new friend after having some conversations with some of the new denizens that had turned up in their absence. Upon making this new friend pod and having a conversation with him and deciding they would start fresh in the next morning, you went about, got some bread, Got some honey. Tried to get lucky. Did not. Got some jam. So, you know, there's that. And that bread. Yeah. And then went off and had some various thoughts and plans for the day. So you 
cultivated, you went to research, uh, you went to a tanner called Tanner. Yes. Fortunate that way. Ah, well, Tanner, Tanner is amorphous and a sexual and agendered, oh, yeah, so they can, they can, they can, can shapeshift. He wants to be. They can shapeshift themselves, so they can be whatever they want to be. You got some lederhosen. I did. You specifically got lederhosen. Hippo lederhosen. Yep, just need to find some plugs now. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to a cube of cheese. The best dressed hippo in town. Yes. What is the I mean, I think you're already the best dressed hippo in town. Sorry? And like also the gym. worst script yeah. in yeah. the only, only, only hippo in town. in town. Yeah. Is it a moving picture? Moving picture. Okay. Uh, there was a prophecy that was foretold to the particular groups. So there was some information. Oh, yes, there was. Five, four, five minutes ago. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, there is some intrigue going on there. So, we return to our group at the the point of downtime, effectively, you just leveled up to level seven. Hooray. Oh boy! Yeah. And <laughs> we are having a little downtime before the party decide what they want to do. They have got some loose threads, and Ross is now trapped patting a dog. I was you straight made her nose. Oh, see, so you took a level in Warlock, and you now sat in my hand. And then when I stopped, she tries to pour me to yeah. get it to continue. You have now entered a pact. <laughs> Yeah. So I should like put her nose in my hand. It's way more quiet than Charlie with it. No majors. Ah. Who says the baby? Yeah, I know. Who says the baby? Baby who tries to kill it. Is it It's what's ensured the pact of dog. Downstairs. He's a dog. Now he's afraid of the dog upstairs. So I have to carry him. Oh. He's not light. Don't <laughs> don't keep carrying him, otherwise you'll get used to it. Yeah, but I want him upstairs. Yeah, but he needs to learn. He's terrified. But I don't have he thirty needs minutes. To learn. Just let him let him discover it by himself. He won't discover it by himself. Yeah. He walks to the bottom of the stairs and goes, "Nah." Well, then just leave him do it. <laughs> yeah, but I want to play with him upstairs. Ah. <laughs> well, leave him to discover those stairs on his own. I yeah. purchased the house. And the dog. Like I would what? like to enjoy both at the same time. One more purchase stair lift. Yeah. You need to get treats and put one on each stair. Yeah. Just convert your stairs into an escalator. When did he fall down then? Stupidity. That's okay, yeah, that's quite. Do it in a week's time. He'll forget. I was just hoping he would stoop and forget that he did it by yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. Okay. Labradors aren't they supposed to be quite smart? One of the most, yeah. yeah. Oh no, they can be stupid. They can be, they can, stupid. they go one of two ways. They're either yeah. super intelligent, because which why they make great guide dogs, or they're dumb as a spanner. Yeah, I opened the passenger side door on my van for it to get in, and he ran into the sliding door. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> who would like to go first in what Fox they are baby. attempting? I mean, the question oh, yeah, is going to be how long are you going to be hanging out here for, and um, what do you want to do? Because it is, at this point, you are going into the cross the winter, snow is starting to fall, so... Snow is falling. All, all around us! Kevin's <laughs> <laughs> <Kevin's> playing! D&D! <laughs> 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 that particular song. Oh. Worse. Would you play Christmas songs at work? Do you have music on at work? I don't know, Ross, do you? No, <laughs> not the new place, you won't know. No, nothing, no happiness, say, no joy, no, nothing but well, silence. He will in six months when he can work from home. Yeah, when he works from home, yeah. But do what you like. Yeah, all the Christmas nice. songs you want so in the middle of April. So crying of child. I don't listen to music. No. Not really. It's fine. I'm a podcast person. Uh, I have the radio on in the car, it's Radio oh. 4. In a slightly yes. different environment, but in IT, I had a whole separate surface that I had a camp, like a uh, fireplace going for oh, yeah. Christmas. Oh, yeah, so just sat there. So, just uh, on the screen. Just on the screen. Not an actual screen. You just set fire yeah, to a yeah, surface yeah. every day. They've got a few of those on Disney Plus. So yeah, I, yeah, I always put one on. It's it's nice. Christmas anyway, the houses, but they're all glum. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Please fix it. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, but you bring Christmas cheer when you or, fix it. Don't wait. Or we leave quickly. I'm just going to go get something from the van. No, no. Oh. You bring Christmas cheer. We just forget all the pot bills. Oh, yeah. Those Christmas lights. Have <laughs> <laughs> <I> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
machine. <laughs> 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 Swish and flick. Right, who is going first? Who would like to do their downtime thing? And how long do you want to hang around here is ultimately the question. So uh, I have do nothing to do. <laughs> that was going to take a few days. Someone had something. We had clothes. Oh, it was dark. It was. Dark. It was dark. Your own clothes died for. That was going to take about yeah. five days. And the floating head has something to do with it as well. Yes. Floating head. Should we let the floating head go first? Floating head. Oh, oh, no, the floating head. Well, Digidom. Yeah, Digidom. Digidom. Go on, Dom, what are you doing? Okay, What's um. The games master would Hello. like to. I uh, know. That's what we would like to do. <laughs> Whoa! That's what um, makes it I would like to try to research anti dampier weapons in the library. See if there's anything that's going to be good at finishing off Elijah for good. If we do manage to catch up with him. Okay, make an investigation check. Oh, excuse me. Would anyone like to help me with that? Yeah, I'll help. Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> you are sat outside. Advantage. Um, Investigation. Roll. This will take it from your activities, Russ. It's fine, I don't have a long list. A long list. 17. <laughs> 17. So, a 17. A 17. Team, um will get you to uh, search. So you end up down into a particular area which is about defeating the darker forces, so part of the dark powers. And it turns out that vampires, or at least kin akin to those, were used by the dark powers at various points during the siege. They were used particularly as like knight assassins more than anything else. Um, so in that, you kind of get some of the defenses that were brought up worth uh, items that could cast daylight out of them uh, were used for defense because the radiant light would defend or give some level of protection against them um running water was also often cited as being something that was problematic for them um and then a stake through the wooden stake through the heart uh, was some of the main things you do come across a particular item called bear with me let me bring the thing back up Dampier killer, 5,000. <laughs> the garlic of... press. Uh, there's a particular oh, item known oh, as oh, the, oh. the Illuminous Warpick, oh, which has oh, crushed oh. pearls and stones along the handle imbued with the daylight spell. So, what it allows you to do is you can, it basically is a warpick that can cast the daylight spell upon it, so unleash a burst of daylight from it. I believe it is also a plus one weapon, but would take some time to construct and would also require someone to have the daylight spell to put it together. Hello. Did we ever notice a daylight aversion from Elijah? No, not really. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Didn't sparkle neither. Mm. He did he did avoid red water though. Yes. And couldn't walk up waterfalls. Mm. Yeah. And I do know the and I do know the magic light had an effect on me at the tower. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stones? Sorry I didn't catch that. Per, just pearlescent ones. You didn't That's specify true. a particular type, so opals and things like that. Okay, I'll get the correction. I can, <laughs> I can start work on it while we're here and sort of take it with me and hope we find stones and yeah, the spell. I mean, a a war pick would be easy enough for you to construct. So you could have you could make a war pick easily enough, and then just have that so you're prepared at least. Yeah, I I'll, I'll get on with that while other people do their things. Okay. Oh, and I'll remember to make the knives for Tanner the Tanner. Yes, excellent. Okay, so easy easy smithing for you uh, to do those sorts of things. Mm. Mm. Great. Whilst we're um, helping research, can I do some research of my own? You may. I s essentially sort of stole this stick of dynamite, um, and I would like to figure out how to make more. Make an investigation. I realise also that I've really missed that. I don't have a traitor. Oh, look at that one! Sorry, look how clean that was. Uh, that's going to be a low number. Well, but not that low. Uh, oh. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I get to re-roll in the actual dice. In the actual dice right. right. Oh, I think it's going to be a 12, right. but I uh, wait for uh, D&D Beyond to uh, start. So I, I only we gave you a physical uh, copy. Uh, yeah, but it's out of date now because... Not last out of date. Because of things. And I mean, so business. when things happen... It's, it's, it is a 12. It's a 12, 12, okay. Actually, it doesn't take that long to find. Um, converse, you know, basically, a, a offshoot of mining and the ore refineries. They did use explosives or yeah. a similar okay. style to this one. Yes. Looking through this, you could potentially take this one apart and break down the explosive components into smaller that packaging. Yes. Um, and you do get the recipe to make more. Ooh. But I just find the ingredients to make yes. More. The recipe and, makes it sound tasty. <laughs> and the ingredients are Spicy. a secret sauce because I'm not going to give out how to make explosive. Whoa! <laughs> also, D and D people are always like the hop, the hop, the top of any list for any kind of secret service. Mm -hmm. thing. Because Luke at some point was like, "How do you make TNT?" <laughs> my, I mean, I mean yeah, just, because one of my D and D players wants to make yeah. <laughs> how do you make how do you make TNT? Five E's. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, how to just cover all of your tracks? How to how to bury a body for D and D? Different D and D in them. <laughs> well, no, no, no. So, yeah. yeah, you can. Okay, cool. You can do that. Yeah, I will spend some time breaking this one down into smaller ones. Today. So this is going to require some skill checks because this is a delicate task that you are Ooh, undertaking. Which definitely won't be So I okay. am doing this. Right in front of your face. In the middle of. I haven't yeah. said where I am. <laughs> on, on your bedside table you while you sleep. Next to the blacksmith. Oh, it's really hot. Where do I do this? Um, I mean, this library is kind of the main forge area as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But there are also... just where there is a forgy bit with. Uh, but the explosive's not that big. But yeah, so... stick of dynamite still. Yeah. Substantial. But I'm just separating it out, right? I'm not like. Right, let me separate this via lighting it. <laughs> <laughs> so not specifically <laughs> near any fire, but just in sure. like a a I've got the D D equivalent of a fume cupboard. Yeah, <laughs> essentially, like a I mean, yeah, uh, there's like outside, outside. like a workshop essentially nearby. There are some workshops. Okay. I mean, there are a couple. Yeah. Of ha there are some houses that you could make sure turn oh, into a. Is there one adjacent to R? My knock wall through place yeah. thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll just I'll knock also... another wall through. <laughs> yes. It's going to burn the entire street at some yes. point by smashing the walls through. Which is oh, great because this is a circular <laughs> street. <laughs> yeah. It's just a ring. Um, all right, so you take, um, you basically go into another area and you get some tools together yes. and you get a workshop. So I'd like you to make for me a dexterity check. This is using your. What tool proficiency do you have? Do you have Tinker's tools? Um, yes. I Although have you have an artificer ability that gives you something about I mean, tools. Artificers always I have can artificer means always, yes, that, yes. but also I can the right create tool. any the right tool that I want, right? I've got leather worker, mason, uh, potter, potter, thieves, potter. and tinker tools. Six so. tools is fine with all of this. Yeah. I don't want your name and a goblet of fire. <laughs> he said, calm. <laughs> 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 yeah. You want a dex with mine. Tinker's <laughs> Tools. Yes, please. Just a straight dex check with Tinker's Tools. Uh, oh, that adds some proficiency to it, though, doesn't it? Yeah, Tinker's three. Tools. So that is a 14. 14. Okay. You are, right. you are able to separate oh, out uh, the, take the layers off and sort of peel it out so mm. you're now exposing mm. the wick and mm. the ignition source effectively and separating that away from the rest of the yes. explosive. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. um, so I guess we're going to say this is going to, be a, there's going to be another check for separating out and putting it into appropriate sure. uh, components. So this will be another check for me. Oh, 23. That 23. Was, Much better. That was so that nice. one's easy enough. You're able to sort of bundle up into effectively like small pouches of explosive. Yeah. It depends on that, what size you want, what you want them to do. You can either have them as like... Uh... Because you've, <laughs> you've got a stick of dynamite, it's about this long. I want you can make some small, like, just bangs. 
like small flashbangs that just but make no noise. tiny bit more than that more than that so you want them to be able to do damage i want damage okay maybe in i don't know this sort of size damage more or less With like a kilo of powder please <laughs> okay so <laughs> does that make sense yeah so you could probably see I mean, right yeah. now if i lit that dynamite that would blow up this room pretty much would it do a lot of probably would destroy room. the house yeah yeah so take up one of the foundations a bit more than that then so <laughs> that's what i shake some windows i'd like to upset uh, the neighbors <laughs> I would better put a hole in the wall. I don't want people to I think we're not putting the hole down. Like okay, that. I don't really <laughs> need scale. Okay, I will say to this. So that dexterity check is for yes. personally important. Yes. Make an intelligence check to figure out what that split what those proportions, proportions is. Those are. Yes. Make five of various stuff. <laughs> yeah, See, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to I'm like, like a selection okay. box. Yeah. 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 One for every occasion. Sorry. Uh, 20. 20, okay. You were able to do this. Nothing else added to it. It's just straight ten. Yeah. Have you ever actually? This is an interesting question for Chris. Yes. Backstory. Yes. Has he ever seen one of these go off before? Uh, no, I don't think so. He knows what it does. Yes. But... He knows the theory. <laughs> so the yes. Sca- so he doesn't know the sca- Okay. So he is kind of winging it a bit. Yes. Somewhere, so it sounds like you. A um, guy who knew a guy told him one day. Told, told him, him how much damage it did. So his theory to is... his cousin. Yeah. yeah. This. This. This stick, this bit, does this much damage, so this stick, this bit, must do this, this much stick. damage. Okay. Yes. Makes you are able... Look, is it <laughs> Yeah. You are able to spend some time and um, find some... Um, again, oh, what, what do you want to put these into? You want to put them into glass? You want to put them into the sack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the that's the option. Those are the different. Like, you can you know your, now he's got all the ingredients. I think you should put them in his bag of holding. <laughs> Shake it around. Eternal burning <laughs> fire. I'm just, I'm just gonna bring it. Yeah, bring out explosions because it's going off in the bag as I put it out. <laughs> <laughs> just go, hey, look at this. Open it up. Ah! <laughs> um, the power of the sun. Uh, in the power of fire. Yeah, glass would work. I think. Yeah. Would it? Yeah. Well, I'm like not a, here. Um, I'm here for the, the devil on the shoulder. It'd be like a Molotov cocktail kind of esque <laughs> style thing. Without the Molotov or cocktail. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Full bearings would be deadly. Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's a Claymore mine, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. God. Yeah, maybe not that. You've defended <laughs> a fair few times. I mean, you can do how you like. You can make them into. You put them into glass, you put them bearings. bearings. I think I have full bearings I've never used. You could make a parcel which does throw them out. I'm going to do, how many, do I know how many I'm making? You're going to be making from this four. I could do two and two then. Sure. I'll do two claymores. Sure. Essentially. Two, 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 ball, just... two ball bearing bombs yes. and two explosions. Yes. Two... Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Two now charges. Have to make a room. Yeah, claim the claim <laughs> more room. <laughs> I don't know. 5e. <laughs> Find familiar. <laughs> well, some of the cats. This is another dodgy search. This is what um, <laughs> unseen serpents for. Yeah, yeah. Hold this to walk towards the enemy. <laughs> with this lighter, just do this. Does it have to stay within a certain distance of you? Uh, I think 30 feet, I think, maybe. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not, not far enough. enough. <laughs> well, not if, for a shrapnel group. If, if you're going to boldly send a ball bearing bomb out at 30 feet. <laughs> like, also, right. This way towards enemy from the side. Of it. <laughs> Danger <laughs> and safe. Yeah. I mean, it's there's a no safe. This, yeah, it's no <laughs> safe side on this one. No safe <laughs> it's a you basically created the fragment grenade, yeah, frag grenade, and just yeah. a general yeah. explosive. Yeah. So you've got two of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, so something you shouldn't do good, or you should at least add for D and D in the end. <laughs> D and D, absolutely. How do you make an AD? Five D. Five D. Everything that I type into Google goes. Five B, please. <laughs> Bail and PCB. Five B. Recipe for banana bread. Five <laughs> uh, B. Wow. Well, whilst Ross Ross is doing that, we'll figure those out. I'll give you some stats for it. Yeah, I'll just do. Uh, I think there is a, there is explosive in there. Hal is going to see whether there are any. Well, first he's going to see whether there is any effort. Being made by some of the farming community to, uh, for any herbs of any sort, okay. or if they're really concentrating on crops. Okay, uh, you go and have a chat with uh, with your your with friends, Darius. the Leonids, with Darius. Uh, seems to be sort of the lead here. They're not so concerned about herbs because they can just find yeah. them. They find wild garlic and things like that around relatively readily. 
um, but they are concentrating on staple crops more than anything else so that you've got your potatoes you've got your, your various pieces which are they which actually those um purple quartz like potatoes that you found initially the stone potatoes the stone potatoes those are actually growing quite well excellent so it's one of the things that you seem to have noticed is that the land seems to have been blessed and has although it's not been planted before it is growing incredibly well given that i'm going to try and spend some time making a uh uh, a window box herb garden for our house. Sure. All right. Aww. Out of. I will. Uh, I, I, I imagine that there is some wood. <laughs> there is wood, um, yes. Lumber available from somewhere. I mean, you could probably I mean, ask the. Um, I, I might ask my friendly carpenter friend. Yeah, or the. Ah! Or your local wandering fra fabricators. Well, yes. Occasionally, or, or some. Um, I'll, have, I'll make him a box. Sure. I'll make planks, and I'll yeah. ask. Uh, yes, I'll ask Cassian to make me a, a window box. Make a carpentry tools check. This will be the dexterity plus your proficiency bonus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Um. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. It takes you a few hours, and you have now got a lovely little. Garden would box like hooks it? over our window. Yeah, would you like anything decorative on it? If, just... if you like. I'll, I'll, I'll shush up like, I'll give it like a nice little border along the top. Sure, you carve, nice and some, homely. carve some figures into it and yeah. some little, little twilly bits. Like, it looks like there's vines kind of wrapping around it. Very nice. It looks very, very pretty. And then I will try and think of something that could align such a thing that would be accessible in this in this uh, <laughs> level of technology because you don't really have plastic sheeting. Mm. Cassian's <laughs> probably going to be yeah. your... Yeah, it probably or like is. a leather sort of... No, no. Mm. Maybe, maybe something sort of tied to weaved in Hessian, but yeah, mm. linen maybe. Yeah, I'll try and find some fabric. Easy, to... easy enough. There's, I mean, there isn't much in the way of textiles. Yeah. Um, at this exact moment in time, it mostly is just leather and hide that's available. Mm. There isn't really anything that's, like cotton yeah. isn't really a thing yeah. yet. It's mostly is just hides and furs and stuff that people wear. Well, I guess. Yeah, wool. But that's not great for it. Um, yeah, I'll find something. I guess. In, 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 some, yeah. some uh, soil and. Spend some time foraging for some wild plants that I can transport. Sure, make a survival check. We find some wild plants. I love how we've gone from making explosions to planting some flowers. Oh yeah, we've gone from Fire Call box. of we've gone from Call of Duty to Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Uh, you're able to forage a good number of herbs. You're able to find some wild garlic. You're able to find. Uh, equivalent of rosemary and thyme, um, you know, those sorts of easy sprig herbing plants. Now, a few mushrooms as well while you're at it, so you've got some nice mushrooms from foliage. Um, you're, you're guided by uh, Darius to where some of the best foraging spots are. And then, as always, the advice of don't take too much mm. because we're going to need these at some point. Good to know where they are. But if you're able to make yourself a little garden. Pod, dare I ask? I don't really have a lot to do. Uh, um, well, you're, you're brand shiny and new. This is a whole opportunity to invent sure. yourself. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <exhausted>. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much for today. It's just a general exploration. Explosion, I think. Yeah, just <laughs> general explosion. Gentle nudity. Um... Yeah, yeah, just have a a plod around. A plod around. Um, um, and okay. uh, just have a see the seas and do the do's. You can see the seas, certainly. Well, you don't have your later hosen yet. I oh, know. I have. Oh, no, did, was that was that ready? Yeah, yeah. Available? Someone brought me another pair. <laughs> so there, was uh, another, there was another pair for decency's sake, whilst the other pair got dyed. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's okay then. You have some coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Feel feel very restricted. <laughs> I've got enough lateral movement in these now. Uh, stretch them out. Yeah. Yeah, you know I might do that. I'm gonna go and submerge myself in the water. Does that do the opposite? No.
Oh, you've got to break them in, haven't you? You've got to let them... Put, like, the shriek... Start to yoga uh, class. Cold. Okay. Not cold yeah, sleep. Yeah, we're going. Going. Get, get, get all in. Make sure you break so them just then to, air dry. Just to clarify, where are you doing this? Um, well, I struggled really hard to get out of the, uh... The ocean. Boat. Yeah. So if I go down to the dock... Yes. How does it... That's a wet dock, isn't it? There's a little bit of a wet dock. So uh, high, high tide is, yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you get some confused looks from Turlemane and Maris, the uh, two who are busy working on the boats. really weird. <laughs> well, this is a new weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get they they together. together. <laughs> I don't know this yeah. guy yet. Yeah. But they could probably guess who did it. Hmm, the Odyssey. Um, yeah, you are just there. Sitting in the in the wet dock, waiting for them, just waiting for the waiting tide to, to come in. Yeah, waiting to get wet. When yeah. the tide does come in, it's cold, but it does cover refreshing. It covers mm. your crotch and your waist, so your leather hose and yeah. leather just sun- sink you down. Just like bit. invent ice baths. Yeah, lots of stuff in there. Good for the circulation. Yeah. <laughs> well, the leather is constricting the circulation. Yes, exactly. I told you, restricted movement. Yeah. I've got to got to break out. Yeah, so you, you and spend... Then, yeah, just air dry by walking around. Sure. You wander around. You say hello to the various Leaving individuals. Leaving like a trail. <laughs> <laughs> just water dripping off your tail. Yes. Oh. oh, yeah, I had a tail vent put in, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just uh, walk around dry. Oh, go and see the bread lady again. Sure. You go and see Shannon. And, uh... Just... I, I, oh, hello. Pod. I had a, a, a brioche stick last time. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have another one of them. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think I've got one left. A couple left over from yesterday. And um, bear with me. She wanders on the back and brings one. That's a little harder than it was yesterday. But <clears throat> do you have any jam? I do. Yes. I've heard it's good for breakfast. It's mid afternoon, but sure. Um, Hands you a hand you the yeah, I've invented brunch. Yes, <laughs> at the wrong time of the day. Brenner, Brenner, uh, Yep, yeah, gives you hands you a jar of red berry jam. If you'd like to, oh. Oh. <laughs> I could tell you give me the bread in the jam. No, the jam on the bread. <laughs> just, <laughs> just literally, just gonna dump it on the end like. <laughs> like you're choking up a ball cube. <laughs> it's easy, it, yeah, easy enough for you to do. She watches with mild curiosity and yes. Um, anything else that you? Okay, I will sit in the middle of the street mm-hmm. and just watch people as they go. Right, just people watching while I have my brinner. Sure, leaning against the temple, I imagine, just yeah. sort of watching from the highest point, just watching people uh, go on their day. Uh, uh. Occasionally dripping jam on people who are walking underneath me. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, a whole bunch of people wandering by doing their various bits and pieces, but it's <laughs> a good way to spend the day. Really. Good day to die. Yeah. Escalated. Has it arrived? Shh. I've heard it was being being subtle. It was brilliant. What's, What's that? The robot is here. What's the song? I don't know. I didn't book one. No. Oh. Does it not have a song? Will it be to a surprise? I don't know. Cassian, what are you doing? Yeah, Cassian. Wait to hear what song's going to play. Listening to the bards outside. (laughs) (laughs) The bards have brought me my snacks. Um, I've realised that I have intertwined rings and a wizard staff. You do? Why? Oh, it's Ghostbusters. (laughs) I just remembered it from last time. Yeah. I need to make a joke about it in Ghostbusters. The good news is that this probably won't be picked up on the audio, yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, really. It's not. Silently dancing. You remembered. I'm afraid of your ghosts. I'm afraid of your ghosts. No. Anyway. Um, what do the intertwined rings look like oh will see i'm <laughs> gonna, I'm go- yeah but i can just try and like is there anything on the rings does it have any markings yeah, i am trying to remember this is like i'm doing this without you because grit will just stand there oh. <laughs> 
Oh, you can buy anything else. <laughs> 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 no, you got hydrated. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I um, they went anywhere to buy stuff, but I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, folks. Hold on, hold on. Hey, sorry. Get one open. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. This must be editing. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mike's done the same. I ripped it. <laughs> Mine have done the same. Yay. Got it. Sorry. Thank you. Do we do our strawberry while we're here? Sure. I'll pay for it. Might as well apple. We'll pay from the... It's 21 pounds and 18 now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to look through my notes, see if I can remember where those came from. God, thank you for breaking our immersion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid no ghosts. <laughs> Cassian is afraid of ghosts, it's Cassian. I am, um, that's very fair. Do you remember where you put those up from? Mm-mm. Was that from the, presumably, was it from the wizards that you fought around the pillar? Just mm. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah? yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. We didn't find, um... Oh, God. It must be. We didn't, yes, I think it was. Okay. Um... The rings aren't anything in particular. They're just they're very nice and fancy. They're just sort of intertwined bands that just look fancy and fun. They've got a couple of arcane sigils on them. They don't really mean anything. They're like sigil, a ring, ring, a ring, ring. Yeah. Sigil. How do you wear two? Are they intertwined? How do you wear that? It's too o- it's too overlapping into a singular band. Mm. So I thought it was like 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 that. No, no, no. But it's so like... like two over two fingers. Like that. Like a sling ring. I was going to say, like, like that. Like a strange ring. Yeah. But it's, yeah, they sort of overlap and just like, like, woven. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, wizard stuff is kind of cool. It's sort of a nice black oak. Um, and it's got a, just curled over around a small crystal in the, uh, the top of it. You can be used as an arcing focus. Well, I can't focus on what you do. I'm going to try. Please tell me you can multi into the wizard. Okay, guess what, guys? Yeah. Time to do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Let's go! Um, Technically, I could use that. Because it's sorcery. Yeah. But Cassian's cast it finished. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what I was going to do with them. So wear them. Need a parade. Oh, no, I could wear the ring for sure. You could wear it and claim that <laughs> you always take an item off of everyone you kill. <laughs> I've killed many wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep the ring. Sure. And then after not succeeding, it sits on your little finger. That's fine. It's cool. It's a statement. Um, and after the wizard stuff doesn't do anything when I really tried my hardest with it. Shut them off. Mm-hmm. Stuff it in half. God damn! And Two explodes. staffs. <laughs> and it explodes. Shit. Um. Um. I don't know where I'd do that. I might do that in the library, and um, as if I'm, as if I'm like. So I've seen you guys like research before, but I don't really know how to research. So I'm going to pretend that I'm researching about the wizard stuff and just like try and kind of guess. Where it might come, I don't find it. Make a deception check. Way acting. (laughs) Deception or performance. It probably doesn't make. I think this is probably about the same. Oh, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. You you look like you're studiously going. Mm. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Write that down. Yeah. Uh huh. These are both books. Mm-hmm. 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 So if anyone looks at you for sort of like three to five seconds, you really look like you're studying. Yeah. Anyone studies you for longer than that, they will realise you're just pretending. Yeah. You're just putting, putting it on. Mm-hmm. Um, fix one up. Mm-hmm. Fix another one up. Have you more pain? <laughs> <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> um, 
And when I realise that I'm no good at this research then, um, I will go and find Gret. Uh -huh. Mm. Yeah. Um, do you remember this? No. Because I didn't either. No, I, I found it in the bag. Um, okay. Doesn't work. Tried to look up what it was. Mm. Um, do you know what it is? I have to give me um, 10 minutes to really, really stare at it, I can tell you. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Um, I'm fascinated by how you do this, and it, I'm going to watch you do it this entire time because it's mind-boggling. Oh, it's only one minute, actually. Oh, no, it's with the ritual. It's usually 11 minutes. Even better, it's longer than I can stare at you. <laughs> okay. Um, um, yeah. I just need to focus. So. Okay, that's fine. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> and we'll pass, <laughs> identify the staff. Okay. Channel help. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> help is being given, so um, mm. just give me one. All the research that I've brought. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what, what did you find out? Uh, it's a rare, rare item. <laughs> it's not in a lot of books. <laughs> very, very few books, really. Mm. Could barely, barely find it. Which, um, which books did you look at? The brown ones. Mm. The, they're all brown. Yes, I looked in them all. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the, big, the bigger ones made more sense. They have more stuff in them. Mm. So more likely to more find pictures. It, more pictures. Mm. Yes. More passion. More energy. <laughs> <laughs> more pictures. Um have I the DM enough time. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Um so would you sort of spend your time looking at this stuff? This stuff. I keep thinking of saying stuff. stuff. This stuff. This stuff. Uh, this staff is known as a Gulfius staff. Gulfius? On the right end of the stand, this is for you, by the way. So. G U L T H I A S. Gulfius. Gulfius. It made, it's made from the branch of a Gulfius tree. Oh. It is a spongy black length of wood. Its evil makes beasts visually uncomfortable whilst within 30 feet of it. I probably could identify this before you just try to reach into it. It has 10 charges and gains 1d6 plus 4 daily at dusk. If it is broken or turns to ashes, its wood releases a terrible, inhumane scream that can be heard for a range of 300 feet. Oh, I should have stabbed it in half. You should have stabbed it in half. That would have been that amazing. Would have been. <laughs> you have done that. The staff can be wielded as a magical quarter staff. On a hit, it deals damage of a normal quarter staff, and you can spend the charge to regain a number of hit points equal to the damage of the weapon. Okay. Each time a charge is spent, red blood oozes from the star's pores. You must succeed on the wisdom saving throw or suffer short term madness. This is literally like the most evil staff you could have picked up. Whilst you are attuned to this staff, blights and other plant creatures do not regard you as hostile unless you hunt them. I relay really all this information to you. Thank you. <clears throat> um... <laughs> One more. Um, it what? sounds really cool, but also <laughs> very dangerous. Um, okay, I'm, I might need to hear that stuff again. Uh, it's bad. It's no, bad. I, that's sort of, as soon as I think, I'm like, you can even have this. <laughs> this was the staff that one of the wizards was holding, yeah. whilst that was in the center of that male strip. Okay, um, it freaks me out a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put it back in the bag. Hmm, I think someone else might want it. I'm not going to give it the pod. I think Carl might want it. Maybe Carl might like it. He does magic. Go See if Zarya wants it. Yeah. I don't want it. That's weird. But then... I think the moment your weapon starts oozing blood is probably mm -hmm. where you draw the line on whether you should be moving it or not. Maybe I'll just put it in the bag. I'm going to save it for later. We've got, <laughs> no, we've got enough problems on our hands right, right now. Which bag are you putting it into? Bag of holding. My bag. Your bag. Okay, so you put it in and it just sticks out. <laughs> no. It's like two feet. Don't put it in the bag of holding. Yes, please. You put it in the bag of holding. Oh, wait, wait. I mean, I open the bag of holding if I don't remember the bag of holding's on fire. 
It's still on oh, fire. It's still on fire. We're going to fix that problem. We have not Let's show me. Try and spend these like five yeah. days to fix that's this the problem. problem. That's the problem. I go to put the stuff in the bag. Well, I think we're more explosive. It's just trying to put out the old fire that already started. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Sam? Okay, we go to put the warm stuff in the bag and then we both realise there's just smoke coming out of it. Um, and I'm like, oh! Mm-hmm. Now you hold on to that. And then I'll figure out how to deal with this. Okay. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's day one. Day two. We try and put out the bag of holding. <laughs> Can I be there for that? <laughs> Yeah. You want to be. Yeah. Well, if, you're water, if you're in water, to be fair, we're going to be aiming for some water. <laughs> I can throw my laser hose in there. That might help. Right. Wait, did we fix the back of holding? No. no. Sorry, what, can you tell me the things to start with? Um, Luke will have to because I can't remember. Um, um, I'll send you the screen. Drop, you hit check. things, it gives you health back. Yeah, it's, it might make you go mad. It Blight. uses blood. Mm-hmm. Blight and other plant creatures don't find you hostile unless you attack them. Something along those lines. Interesting. Yeah, it actually might be good for you, actually. Mm. Plant boy over here. Plants. Specifically evil plants. Mm. It's always the ones that like plants. Hey, nice plants don't attack you anyway. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Alright, right. Bag of holding. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot of... Fire. There's a lot of fire in this bag. A lot of fire. Heap. A little bit. I thought. Is that what we put it in the first place? No, no. This is a breakfast. This is a brunch meeting. Guys, we're over (laughs) here. We put it in there because we 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 put it in there because we thought he was going to put the light out. Hmm. Could we? You want to keep some? I think so. It kind of makes sense. We want like a jar. Yeah. Like a big jar, maybe a stone jar, you can okay. some people have. Mm-hmm. Long stone jar. Put the fire you want to keep in a stone jar. Yep. You can seal it tight. Mm-hmm. And then put out all the other fire if we can. We could stick I, a I, stick I in the bag, pull it out, it's out covered in fire. fire. Put that mm. fire in the stone the, jar. The digitation spell remove the, the remove the tar, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now it's worth pointing out you do not have any more of the ever burning tar. Yes. But you could also take what's here and transfer it to something else. That's what I want to try and do. Demolition. Maybe we need to make um a safe if so, and we just tip the bag. Which should be outside, away from other buildings and things. Yes, 100%. Do that thing where when forests catch fire, they go and kill all the other things first so it doesn't burn them down. And you just, like, stop it. Scorch, eh? Yeah. Smokey, look, Smokey sits up, and, as you're saying this, and nods proudly because that was literally his job whilst he was in the forest. We got an expert. Yeah. Smokey, I'm can go you and call my expert? This is like Rick and Bob. Let me go and consult <laughs> the expert. Smokey, where's the best place to light a fire? <laughs> a a controlled fire. Container fire. I don't know if you remember, because I didn't. The bag of holding is still on fire, yeah. and we need to change it, and we need to do it safely. That's not going to burn down houses or people. Yeah. Can you find us a good spot to do this? Yeah. Well done. Stuff for coming alive. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, it's Then I wander off and they leave me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, the board games will be able to play with you. Smokey does. Smokey's first thing is he sets up has it straight. And turns and looks at the fireplace that is in this building. <laughs> Mm. It's possibly we we might have Grand day fire. Big fire, maybe explosions, stuff in there we're not quite sure, we can't even really remember. So we'd rather not be I think there's something left in there though. <laughs> find out. There isn't there's like some non flammable things in there. There was very few items up. We're not crossing them off that list. Uh, there was very few items left in that bag. We don't know what's Oh you there. lost all your porn, that's right. Ah, yeah. uh, good stuff. Um, we'd at least like to do it away from places. 
Yes. Maybe we'll just open it over the ocean. I can actually move it up there if I want. Loki has a thing and stuff. In the wet dock. Oh. Um. Yes. Where the boats are. Oh, I, I, sorry, I thought you were calling him a wet dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> not, oh, the wet dog. I, I, I get you. Um, but if we pour it into the ocean, we might lose the stuff that's in the bag in the ocean. What's left also, in there? Just having dressed. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, so, the boats might catch uh, fire. We don't know how much <clears throat> fire is in this bag. So, my canium. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, ready to waste work, some dragon really? tooth. Yes. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> because there was books, yeah. woods, yeah. and grape seeds in there. <laughs> Basically, more fuel was in this bag <laughs> and nothing else. Oh, and sheep, uh, sheep uh, like, yeah, wool or whatever. Oh, yeah. the grapes. The grapes. Let's bring go back and get some more grapes. To the vineyard. To the vineyard, um, to the world. <laughs> 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 Break strip down. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. there's a couple of places. Smokey, Smokey has a, a, looks like he has ideas. So he starts to lead you through the town. <laughs> he has ideas. He, first of all, he leads you up the stairs to up to the top, up to the temple. Mm. It's stone because all of these buildings are stone. Like, it's all sort of hewn from the rock, so it's... So don't tempt us, we'll find a way of a stone burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I can check the stone to see whether it's... Yeah! How old it is! It's, it's, it's absorbed it's stone. stone petroleum! Wow! <laughs> so, the last like, hundred years! Yeah. So he starts up in time. <laughs> it's indicating this general area. Um, Is there not people here? There are people praying, yeah, and doing stuff. <laughs> Smoke you. <laughs> Burn them all! I think we need to have a discussion about what a people-free zone actually means. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! We, we need... <laughs> yeah, we need to find a people-free zone. We're not going to disrupt these lovely people from praying to whatever they're praying to. We need to find a space that is both safe and people free and won't catch on fire that easily. Mm. Docks were actually a good idea though. But what if we tip stuff out and it goes into the ocean <laughs> and we lose it forever? We'll be Quite careful. careful. <laughs> okay. Oh no, my burning stuff is going into the sea! Ah! <laughs> it's like three things uh, in this bag. Okay. That's and they're on fire. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Smokey, you did a good job. Unfortunately, we're gonna go with plan B. I know. I'm dis mm. I'm disappointed too. He looks over at the people right, but who are now looking back at you. You're like people free zone. Or... Go about your day. day. I will uh -huh. take the, the the lizard with me. Smokey, mm. let's leave. To a wet dog. <laughs> it's the wet dog. The wet dog. <laughs> That's the name of the other pub in town. Yeah. Uh, he's not a you, wet dog. You head down to the wet dog where you find uh, the, the two of them up, Termain and Maris are back. Think we're weirder. Repair it. Back to repair the ships with Tarquin. Tarquin! <laughs> Termain. Um, oh, no. Is there a space down here where we can. <laughs> Hopefully it's not set things on fire, but may have very flammable materials around. Well, um, I'd rather you didn't. There's a lot of tar here. Tar will oh, yeah. burn quickly. That would not be good. You could go across the bridge and into the wastelands. Oh, we could do that. But there's no water there either. I'm confident that you can just. Oh, you come on for this. I think so, yes. I thought we were all trying to resolve the issue of the burning bag, but maybe not. 
Why not? You know, just and I know that I, I have a thing that helps with this, yes. so I will pretend it should be. I can Car throw off. it, yes. Why not a bump on the back? Underboard. Because um, it's not just fire, the fire is attached to things and it never goes out, even no. to go down break water to the wasteland. Oh, you mean just fill up the bag with. I could do that. Fill up the bag with seawater. Okay. As much as it will fill. As you put the bag it. under the water yeah. and start letting the water flow in, yeah. See if it's steam comes out. Yeah. It does <laughs> stop steaming. Does, is it? This is what's always thinking about the bag holding. Mm. Is it? Does it just for all intents and purposes work like a bag when you open it? Or is it actually like magic that I reach into a black void and I pull out the thing that I'm trying to pull out? Let's look at the official rules of written. Is the fire taking up all its capacity at the moment? Can it actually fill it in any, well, any of, water? The bag of holding can hold a capacity of 500 pounds. Yes, 500 pounds of fire. Fire doesn't exactly have a weight. Um, it, can so hold up to five, it can hold up to 500 pounds not exceeding a volume of 64 cubic feet. It weighs 15 pounds. If it is overloaded, pierced, or torn, yep. it ruptures and is destroyed, and its contents are scattered in the astral plane. Yep. If the bag is turned inside out, its contents spilled forth unharmed, Which is what I do too. but the bag must be put right before it can be used again. Yep. Uh, that is the extent of it. Placing a bag inside... Okay, that was just a bit... Basically, so as you say about how it actually operates necessarily. Like, do you always feel like the bottom of the bag? No, you, you. So the way that the bag works when you're reaching into it, you reach in, you think about the thing you want, you grab yeah. onto the thing, and you pull it out. I'm going, so I'm, going, I'm going void by pulling, pouring water in. I'm not reaching and taking everything out. So Correct. Technically, the two things don't interact. They still. And we'll find out. A, the, as they as they do, it does start. Bubbling and causing steam to erupt. We'll close the bag. Okay. Now a hot water bag. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say, because that will solve see. all of your problems. I just close it. The thing is, it's got a maximum Can't volume of 64 <laughs> cubic feet. Yeah. So everything's now within that cubic yes. area. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can cross the bridge. Yeah, we, we, um, yes. Everyone get with. I resume. Yes. Oh. At a safe <laughs> distance. Hello. Not on here, but the Gobia stuff you said could be used as an arcane focus. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm allowed to be so. I am the yeah. so. Okay. We're okay. now wasteland. You easy enough to cross over the wasteland at this point. There's only a sort of five foot gap trench that you're able to sort of hop across. Um, as you're there, do you find mm -hmm. that? You know, there's a bit of scrubland, but not a great deal of brush. It has been, it has been raining the last couple of last few hours, so everything's just good. Nothing's wet. Um, there's a couple of weird sort of blood red coloured, almost like trees and vine with vines wrapped around them that are sort of stood near uh, the crevice and in that sort of area. They look odd, but there's all sorts of weird things that have come across this particular area before. You, like, you come across these sort of weird plants. Like the grass on this side of it, it's very stark of the contrast between the far side, the western side, sorry, the eastern side of the gorge, west side, so. and the western side, which is west side grass. Is side. East side is fresh. East side is terrible. It's where you almost died. Um, so yeah, so okay. Yeah. Right. I could reach in and pull out the specific things. Go ahead and like catch on fire. Or burn. Or boil. Yes. I'll just um, I'll have to take a hit some of Or I on. could do it because I am yes. good with fire. Or we could just turn the thing inside out and let the <clears> thing <throat> come out. As long as everyone has stood behind me when I do it. Spooky. Get ready. This could be a fire. Sure. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I will put the bag away from everyone and I would almost like punch it inside out, do you know what I mean? To make sure that sure. Punch right. as, you, as he punches, mm. I want to just summon a mage hand at the same time. Uh -huh. <laughs> just to be like, could have just used this. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to be punch. 
<laughs> not about doing the experiment to find out what it's all. All right. So you punch out the inside of it. Yeah. So you now have 64 cubic feet of water, of super hot water. Yeah. Out there. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Sure. Oh boy. 12. 12? I'm sure. From the pure surge of heat, you don't take as much damage. You sort of like punch out and then jump back a little bit. Uh, you do take 12 points of fire damage just from the pure heat of all of this. It does launch out and the, <laughs> the steam comes out and the steam rises off of what it is uh, boiling and bubbling away. The rest of the water sort of puddles out onto the ground yep. and scorches a few bits of it with the pure heat of it all. Mm. And then the rocks and everything else just sort of tumble out. It's still on fire. Yeah. I will start using prestidigitation to remove the tar from the things mm -hmm. that are on fire. Okay. And you start to remove the tar and it is cleaned away. The bag's on fire. The inside of the bag's still on fire, yeah. Okay. The inside as I've moved inside. Oh, I will remove it from the Yeah, inside of the bag. Yeah. So now we're close back in. Yep. No more fire bag. And nothing in the bag. And nothing in the bag. Nothing in the bag. Hey, we're at <laughs> we're neutral states. We're neutral, yeah. Yay! I can put this staff in the bag. Yes, the this staff. staff. The staff is going in Actually, the bag. Dark. Actually, oh, oh, wait, you oh. want to be doing the staff that's going in the bag. <laughs> if it's all right, I quite like to use that. Sorry, it's in the bag. Now. You remember? <laughs> did you did, did Grit tell you how bad it was? I tried picking flowers. Yeah. And I picked some flowers and uh, the, the plants rose up and nearly killed me. Rise up. If I was using this, they wouldn't have done that. I don't oh. think. I mean, you do like to pick flowers. So maybe and, it's uh, yes, yes, this has some bad stuff with it and um, does, does seem quite evil. It's but bad. I don't have to use it for evil. I don't have to. Yeah, they will, but I don't have people person has ever said. I mean, it will save you from the, it will save you from the bad plants. I trust Pal to look after this. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Never sorry. Inside check. Do you hear? Don't really inside check. Too too much of an evil. Slight hand on the pickpocket. Off the spa. Yeah. Uh, what's up on past perception, please? Oi, um, vey. Twelve. Nine! Ten. Same! Ah, twins! We're both no, like the other way! Uh, 14, but I don't think I'm there. I kind of assumed I was still off forging stuff. Oh, okay, you're not there. Oh, you're missing anti so Well. Because <laughs> if you didn't want to come and set things on fire. She needs some alone time. She's been through a lot. She does need some alone time away from these muppets. Uh, what's Smokey's passive perception? What is that? Really twelve. Twelve. So yeah. Smokey has the highest passive perception. I have twelve as well. I oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. We're not very perceptive, but no. You. We're not the wisdomous crew. No. no. Yeah, as you've just indicated by turning a superheated hot water inside out. Yeah. I would have thought the water would put it out. Do fair that's the cleanest way we could have done that. Mm. What's wrong? Sorry, I I tried to open the um. The, the item thing again, and it, it deferred to a picture of Dom with his sash on. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Um, the bad end. Smokey and you, pal, notice that the plants that were nearby, the sort of vine wrapped ones, are now closer. Oh mm. no. No. I will. Walk towards them okay. and away from everyone else. Oh. Okay. Breathe. There you go. <laughs> Death <laughs> play buttons. <laughs> you big, you big frog. <laughs> so I got my nose. A bunch went up your nose. Yeah, like old ones are like milk and chocolate. It's all cold, but you just but love your button nose. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the line of white buttons. <laughs> well, so yeah, you and Smokey have noticed these plants have gotten closer. So yes, as I say, I walk towards the plants <clears throat> and away from everyone else. Okay. You follow. Close up to them. 
I'm too busy, like, doing something else. I don't know. I'm just, like, like looking the other way. I'm, uh... Me and Pog. With my, me, my and... new braces. Yeah. <laughs> me, yeah, I'm... 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 <laughs> What's it? Fanny waggling and Yeah, I'm I'm looking, but what's that? I'm intrigued by Pod's new later hose. Occasionally just stretch. And how yes, I'm I'm intrigued of how stretchy and flexible you are in after after the bathing. <laughs> Show me some good yoga yeah, moves. Exactly. I call this the stagnant populace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will examine the plant. Okay. No, no, the plants will examine you. Oh. As you look at the this plant and the white, as you study it a little bit closer, these vines seem to be intertwined. There are dangerous thorns, blood red flowers yeah. intertwined within those. And as you study a little bit more, there are the remnants of battle seemingly wrapped within. There are broken arrow shafts that are. Uh, Rotten and the the, uh, the arrowheads themselves are rusted severely. There are bones and skulls that are contained within it. Pieces of armor and weapons that are just contained within this amalgam of particular plants. How how large? Is this? These are about six foot high, but they are medium sized. And how large an area are they covering? Is it a fairly small area of ground? They're covering a little, probably a little more than you would if yeah. you were if you were a cylinder. Apple sized <laughs> If I was. <laughs> Well, if my arms are outstretched or... Uh, probably like shoulder width. Right. Not quite so a bit panic. more than that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do they react at all as I come closer? They can sort of move in the wind. Somewhat. Yeah, well, they act a certain way. They're just plants. Does this remind me of anything I've read? Or uh, make a nature check. It's <laughs> Forget. It doesn't really notice that the whole ground's alive. And it, 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 23. 23. <laughs> there was something you did read before you ventured out this side. Uh, some of the plants that had been cursed and tainted by the great evil of the battle that had come on. There was something known as the Vines of Nymphir, which were born of the sites of bloody battles, where two armies leave the ground seeping with ichor and littered with the tools of war. The plant life in the area soaks up both the physical remains and the psychic trauma and slowly starts to shift. And they are effectively a walking mass grave. Ooh, These two oh. seem to be smaller variants, judging by it. Um, with that higher roll, uh, they, you know that they have a certain motivation to feed on further carnage. Well, I'll just find the right people. And they seek out sites of mass battle, and if they can't find those, they find other living creatures in the hope of creating its carnage to bone carnage to feast upon. Right. I will call out to the others mm. and say. <clears throat> right. Keep away from these. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Um, because I think they would be trying to kill me if I didn't have this staff in my hand. It does require a tumor. It does. No, oh, it does. God, so I've got that staff. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you say that, you feel a tendril just start to wrap around you. Unfortunately. Oh, I will try and my free party. myself of this. I will say, me, uh, the attack roll was pretty poor, so it's just sort of a loose. Right, so I'll say I it's an easy grapple. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an easy. I'll say this is uh, you can make your this will be a strength check against the uh, grapple escape DC. Uh, ten. Ten. 
No. So you are slowly being these vines just start to come up, and you just see the creep, the one behind you, just from its singular, almost trunk-like legs or like you know trunk-like physicality, just separate out into two separate legs. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> the second one also he has the staff. You're right. Starts stretching out and tendrils whipping about it. I need you all to roll How initiative okay? for me, please. Did I have a thing for the the drag dragon wrath sword? Uh, your dragon wrath axe. You transferred it to your axe. Yes, it's not a sword anymore. Yes, sweet. Um, wait, initiative. <gasps> I get to do it with advantage! Dom, would you like to uh, take on the part of Smokey for this? Oh, go on then. Um, he gets a minus one to his initiative. Apologies. Focus. Nice. I take. I take. I take. Um, I just need that bit. Hang on. All right, uh, 25 to 20, anyone? Mm -hmm. 20 to 15. Se 18. 17. 18 for oh, oh. 17. Cassia. Yeah. 17. Uh, I've got Isaria. I've got Isaria in here, but Isaria is not actually part of this. So I'll just use Isaria for uh, smoking purposes. Okay. Uh, 15 to 10. 12. 13. 13, 13 for Smokey. Nice. Okay, uh, I'll just manually override that because this R is an issue. Mm -hmm. 14. Uh, and then. Rick, yours was 12. Mm -hmm. And I need to roll four plants. Plants. Okie dokie. Why am I greater than the side? Because I haven't moved them yet. God damn it, Luke, keep up. Because... Uh, Smokey is slower than Pal, but faster than Grit. And then the plants are here. Plant. I am a potted plant. All right, brings us to Pod. You're up first. Let's see what you can do. This is your initiation. Yeah, he said it was fine. I did not say I was fine. Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Because you are safe, because you have the stuff. Yes. <laughs> I will observe. No! I mean, fair. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, so a vine has grabbed Pal. Yeah, I'll kind of just do that. Oh. <laughs> Where's. Is it <laughs> big? Is it just a, a little one that's wrapped around his ankle? There's a couple of vines that are starting to just wrap around him while he's going, guys. Um, I can I get we're probably my, okay here. <laughs> can I get my um my axe side and just can I just like swing through a few of them? Sure, make a tack roll. I will say this is a minus five because you're trying to make a particular cold shot to cut through the vines without hurting him. That's not what that's not what okay. he just wanted to cut for a vice and never about not heard of him. I mean, I would have thought they'd be big enough oh, to yeah. at least swing like a few a couple like, a couple of feet away from Val. Ooh, they are quite close. Oh, I thought the vines had come out quite a lot. How there's a big group of vines. Yes, two of them. Two of them. Mm -hmm. Power has stood how close to these vines? About um, eight feet. But it is quite a lot of tendrils around so okay so where the, the points of joining is quite close to how's the cable that you want down. out of the things that you were pretty certain god the cable managed before you put them in the drawer god damn it yeah. <laughs> god, shake them. Um, well they do thrive off um chaos um, maybe we just yeah maybe we just organize them <laughs> that's that's, the, that's what everyone <laughs> reports to <you>. organize <laughs> <chaos. laughs> i need to remember how to <laughs> like out the indie. Take yeah. it by the vines. Yeah. Um, I would like 
I'm not going to rage because I'm just thinking this is just right now. This is just like a. I'm just going to. This, this is a potted plant. This is a tree. Rage garden. This is a tree. So yeah, I'm just going to. Um, I don't get. Why do I feel like I, I don't get a. No, that's my deck saves with advantage. So that's fine. <laughs> It's been a while, guys, since we've had compact. It has been a while. Twelve. Twelve misses, unfortunately. You swing the you swing the mm. axe down, trying to make sure you avoid um, Pal in the process. You don't quite get enough cut through to take it. I was this axe, though, so go for it. Sixteen. Using all of your wood carverina, so you swing down and shoot. I clean. know how to cut a tree. <laughs> And cut down through some of them. What the damage please? Death, death, death. <laughs> and that is nine points of slashing damage. Oh, slashing damage. You cut through some of the vines. You are still grappled at the moment, so you're still held in place, but it has weakened it, so you'd have an advantage on your next escape attempt. Mm, these are getting a bit tight. There's a lot of them. Mm, I will. Um, As I see they keep rapping, I will um, uh, storm your aura. Your rage? Yep. Okay. No, no, I can do that without rage. No, your storm your aura comes because you rage. Yeah. Oh, it activates when you enter rage. There's no turn on and turn off. The turn on and turn off is without raging. Yeah, so if I... If you rage again with the... Do you rage I didn't you rage. Can't. A bonus action. You can bonus action break now. And it does it. Yeah. Dex save against the did. lightning. Yeah. Apparently, a very dexterous plant. 19. Oh, Half damage, though. Yeah, I still like 1d6. One. It's one point of damage. Yeah, half. but you take credit in the fact that that wasn't half. It would have been one regardless. <laughs> that, yeah, fair. All right, that is the end of the turn. It is, now, yeah. it is now the lesser vines turns. So uh, the one that has you is going to use its thorny lash. Uh, I will say it has it. It's going to shout hurtful things. Out. <laughs> uh, it has advantage on the attack because you are restrained and grappled by it. But this is oh restrained as well. Yes. Well, you were grappled initially. Now it's going for the full restraint. So in fact, actually, I'll do that as a straight roll because. That still probably hits with your AC at 13. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't cast Mage after this yeah. morning. Because I thought we were just going out for a nice, a safe jaunt to put out a fire. Take 17 points of slashing damage, and you are now grappled and restrained by it. Yeah. Um, it's then going to take the uh, vine that it had, the other vines that it has, and slam out towards you, just making a slam attack. Let's go. That's cocked, unfortunately. That is a 17 to hit. Yeah, that hit. Okay. Uh, the slam is 2d6. That is 8 reduced to 4 points of bludgeoning damage to you. Thank you. Wait, I'm resistant. Uh, that was why. Oh, that was you half it. Okay. What was it? 4. 4. Uh, and then. The other one is going to look out at each of you and is going to inhale and exhale a cone of poisonous thorns. So well, I need crap. for all five of you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Guess what I'm forgetting. Are you resistant to poison? I have an advantage against poison. Ah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. what? Sorry, con save. Con save. Con save. Okay. Just slightly better than average. 14. 14. Just look and see if I had any. Uh, you take no. 11 points of poison damage. 25. 25, you 11 points of poison damage. 22 points of poison damage. <clears throat> How? 21. 21, 11 points of poison damage. Uh, Smokey? 13. 13 is the DC to 11 points of poison Seven. damage. <laughs> He is not resistant to 11, 11, yes. 11. Well, uh, you sent Tom the stats, have you? Yes. yes. Well, that is the end of the two vines. Uh, the one that was close and dispersed the cone is then going to start to trump 
tromp, tromp around tromp, tromp, tromp. you and sort of move towards the tromp, other party tromp. members at the back of the group. Please just do pal. You are grapples restrained, held by this. Am I able to move my hat? You can do your somatic components. Excellent. Banishment. <gasps> let <laughs> let it make a charisma save. Let's yeah. go. Four. <laughs> it is. Just put, you just reach and the fun <laughs> vanishes. However, yes, make your save for me, please. Yep. Worth it. Ooh, 21. 21, okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> this plant has now been banished. Um, I know how the spell works. Yes, you do, yes. Right. I will move away. <laughs> I will move 30 feet away from it. It, where I was, and, and the other one away from the other one as well, yes. Sure. Uh, and as a bonus action, no, I can't do anything as a bonus action, so I will end my turn. Smoky! He's <laughs> for combat. <laughs> How's a color? Smokey. What would Smokey like? Smokey is confused because I think that was a, his friends has just vanished. There's another thing over there. <laughs> fire breath. All right, he's going to breathe fire, fire at this. Let's go at the other vine. Uh, deck save of a sixteen. That fails. So that's just going to be five d six fire. Yes. Yeah, um, DC is seventy. Oh no, sorry. Hang on. Oh no, DC is thirteen. Sorry, it does succeed. <laughs> The 16 the average damage. Yeah, sorry, the thing we <laughs> yeah. meant, we failed. <laughs> right. Smoky failed. Roll right. damage for me, then, please, Dom. For the half. 56 halved. Um, half of nine, five fire damage. Fire damage. All right. Wow. Damage. Three ones and two threes. Oh. As Smokey exhales the flames, it starts to wrap around it, but it seems the jaw and icker that is across these vines is preventing it from igniting fully, so it is not burning as well as you would like. Oh. It doesn't appear to be resistant, but it's not burning. But vines are not great burning material anyway, oh, so... I see much water in them. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just a grit. Yeah, and that changes my... Um... So they're not that burning. They're not vulnerable to fire. I'll change my plan a little bit, but not that much. Uh, I'll move away. I'll try something slightly different. Sure. Ooh, I'll, I'll move away from it. Of course, it's moving around towards us. Moving the towards it, yeah. I'll move away from the one which seems to have gone invisible. Yes. Um, sort of. It's a <laughs> Um And I will just ice knife. Sure, make it actually invisible. Uh, ice is strong than the grass type. Yeah. It's also fire. It's so. uh, Is it in within this? It's not even. What is grass type? Good oh, because it's an attack first. Yeah, so. uh, that is round. a 25 to hit. 25 hits. Would assume uh, and I rolled a 14 on the deck save for the explosion of ice. Uh, that will be too low. So we'll take that damage as well. So that's seven points of uh, pit hit. hitting damage. Okay. And you take the ice then... knife and thunk, huck it. I can't the thing, but... And then five points of cold damage. The dagger sinks into it, and as it explodes, the frost seems to spread and doesn't appear to hurt it as much as I So it is resistant okay. to cold damage. It is resistant to cold damage. And fire it's damage. Fire. No, it's not resistant to fire damage. Fire damage. It's not that cool was just fire because damage. it succeeded in saving Luke was just being helpful by being like, because it's plant doesn't mean it hurt, fire hurts it more. Yes. Just because wood don't mean fire hurt. Yeah. <laughs> just because wood don't mean good. Um, I will... Um, that's okay. a good motto for Cassie. <laughs> what was it? Just because wood don't mean good. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> I will gain six temporary hit points due to my uh, defensive armor. Sure. Oh uh, Pod, one of these <clears throat> things is stomping towards you. One of these things is not like the other. I will blast it. Over to the last. Does a 16 hit? 16 does hit. Okay, then the 27 does as well. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you got to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> Start with a low one. Wake your way up. The second attack gains better AC, so. Yeah. Uh, 9 and 11 points of damage. 
Nine, eleven, so twenty total. Wow, that's nice. Twenty points of force damage. Is it <laughs> into it? Um, oh, it hasn't yeah, yeah, okay. that. That's right. Never mind. My own fault. Um, all right. So you blast a couple times. Does it have any other effect on it? It's not. No, it's just agonizing. Just damage. Cool. Are you moving? You saying we are? I will back up thirty feet. All right. You are now aligned with back it up, great. Back it in. Uh, brings us to Cassian. I will. Uh, uh, the other one. Yes. Has that got a hold of anybody at the moment? Not yet. Okay. Yes. Mm. Um. I will smash it with my axe again. Smash it with the axe. Please. Go for it. Make your attack roll. Um. Just grabbing anyone. It's you. I'm raging anyway. So. You are raging anyway. Uh, twenty-four. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, da, 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 da. Twelve nice. add three add two twelve add five seventeen points 17 of slashing, slashing damage. damage. Nice. Second attack. Second attack. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one will hit. Yeah. Ah, oh, uh, three, six, eight. Eight points of slashing damage. It was slashing out. You come in again and cut into this creature. And it... Ka-chung! Ka-chung! We're making noise because it's good. Ka-chung! Ka-chung! The skull will tell into the chest. Ah! Uh, the one that's banished doesn't make any saves in turn, just there for a minute. And do you lose concentration? Mm-hmm. I would like to bonus action, please. Oh, well, you do the bonus action. I would like to. Uh, uh, you must kill me over, please. That uh, twelve. Nope, that don't like it. That don't like it. That is five points oh, of lightning damage. Five mm-hmm. puppy dice. Puppy dice. Yeah. And a puppy coaster. Yeah, All the puppies coaster. going on. Mm. Nice. And a puppy. And a puppy. Alrighty. So mm. that's off of its turn. It does regain its thorns. You watch as the thorns that were wrapped around its chest start to. <laughs> Emerge out again and from its positioning, as I do it in my mental head. Well, yeah, you. The only one who is like, I'm going to run towards the problem, not so much. I from kind it. of need to hit yeah. it and I kind of need to be near it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, all right, it is going to. It, yeah, it's just going to hit you. So, Thorny That's Lash fine. to start <laughs> is a 17 to hit. Yeah. Murray. Four. Eleven points of slashing damage reduced down to six. six. And you are grappled and restrained. Whoa, it's slam nice. attack as it does to you. Which Me, was, again. Yes, you again. Which is a forty yeah, sorry, twenty-four to hit. <laughs> Oof, 15 points of bludgeoning damage reduced down to 8. And that is the end of its turn. Pal. That's okay though. Firebolt of one that's still there. Make an attack roll. Uh, that's a 19 on the dice. Well hit. It's all bludgeoning and bludgeoning. It's all bludgeoning and piercing. That's fine. Uh, that's 12 points of fire damage. 12 points of fire damage, and you'll save, please. Hey, uh, six. Six. You guys watch as the fire bursts out of Pounce's hands and you know, bursts towards you, kind of follow the arc, and you turn back to see that the eyes have turned red. Well, yes. Do we know why? Nothing. Yeah. We've only. It's, probably it's been very short lived. Once before, it we may have. With the Earth Cat things. Right. Yeah. So we might not have. Now, here's a question. When you it. go into this rage, do you maintain concentration? I don't know. It's not a question that has come up for me so far. Roll a constitution saving throw for me. Uh, 22. Okay. <clears throat> you maintain concentration. For now. Uh, now, because I have done that, I was going to heal myself as well, but I will not be doing that and I will pass my. I will not stop backing away and I will 
Uh, I've just lost turn. Right. Uh, Smokey. Uh, I will move towards the one that Cassian is fighting. Go help my buddy out. <laughs> oh, actually. Roll d6 first I'm... to see if you can charge. Oh, yeah. Thank you. D6. A five. I get my fire back. Yay! I'm ready to recharge. <laughs> Fire I'm <laughs> uh, but I will make a mighty leap towards this plant. Go for it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I will make my claw attack first with advantage. Sure, I'll go for it. The little leaps through the air. Please. Um. Okay. I mean, that was both of them added together, so... Oh. <laughs> uh, you can 17 on my screen, and it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> 9 plus 5, does a 14 hit? 14 just hits. Okay, 2d6 plus 3. Um, 8 slashing damage. Walk by slapping him. Okay, cool. Smokey um, leaps through the air and brings his claws down, raking into the, some of the vines. It... And then I'll try and take a chomp out of it as well with my bite. Chomp, 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 chomp. chomp. Nope. Flanking in the campaign. We are. It just very rarely comes up. Usually, usually, you are all scattered. We are we're um, very close. The attack, the bite misses, so that is the end of Smokey's turn. He is just yeah. there. Great! Yeah. You yes. are, at this point, probably about 50 feet away from it. 50 feet, that is useful information. As a you, Pod. Because um, you both kept backing up, and I think mean, you're probably a little bit further away. I probably stopped after 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, I backed up 30 feet and then my next turn I stopped moving. Yes, I well, will. you would have been more than 30 feet away from oh, it because right. it started off unless you moved to be 30 feet away. talking about how far I am from the point where the other one is feeling. Yes, so you're 30 feet from that, which is probably about 20 feet from that guy. So you're also 50 feet, but in a different direction. Cast Chromatic Orb, and I will make it um, Acid. Okay. That's not very high, rather. Uh, it does a 14 hit. Just hit. Yes. Uh, that is 3DA, which is why. Nice. Damn. 19 points. Yes. 19 points. Uh, where did you get your diamond from? Just, uh... Uh, it's not specified on here, so I just uh, put it here to you. Be I'm, fair, I'm, being, I'm being an ass. I campaign uh, without realizing. I know I'm being an ass. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a boring the resurrection gem. Yeah, which he has with him. Yeah, no, I um <laughs> the there was a um, there was a, uh, a something in the bag that got so superheated with the water that it actually. <laughs> The dragon, uh, with, the the dragon pressure tree. to turn it into a diamond. There were uh, stones covered the, in tar. Yes. No, the, the twigs got superheated to turn to coal. Yes. And then oh, the atmospheric the pressure of the astral plane and everything crushed them so, and formed a perfect yes. lab diamond. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the lab diamonds aren't worth 300 gold, though. Which well, it's is, a big lab well, diamond. Like, that's a good thing because I think <laughs> it's I, only 50 gold. Only the 50 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Classical fire. How, much, how is it the big worth editing of this? Movie? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Worth one cow. Uh, this is one cow. <laughs> worth one cow. Worth two cow. Out of yeah. fairness, I've been eating the baguettes. I'm not paid anything. Yeah, yeah. It's just creating a got society. The you got the honey last yesterday. So yeah. yeah. Oh. It's equality. Anyway, what are you. Uh, what was the damage? Uh, it was 19 points so of acid. 19 points of acid damage. Gotcha. The acid. Impacts it so this green orb yeah. fires out from this prism that you found. Yes, and <laughs> impacts into it, uh, just just, just oh, ripping shiny. off its. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I do actually have something like that. I'll check anyway. Yeah. Probably. Uh, that is the end of your turn, though. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I'll stay about where I am. Okay, Pop. Does this murder bush look like it's slowing down anytime? It looks like some of the vines are sloughing off a little bit, no, but it still looks pretty. It's there. Herbal. I mean, it's yeah, it's still <laughs> herbal. Okay. 
stuff. <coughs> oh, I will oh, use <laughs> of licenses. Um, is anything within a? Is any one of my allies within a five foot cube of it? Yes. Me. You're in it. And I smoky. Smoky. I'm smoky. Smoky is adjacent to it, but you are grappled by it. I would allow you to make a check to try and control an area of effect spell, but it will have a high DC. It's cloud of daggers, I'm kind of thinking that's pretty hard to, to, yeah, to yeah, focus. Yeah. Can I take fire slash damage? You don't feel that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of knives. <laughs> yeah, it's at least eight. Oh, no, I'm falling into the wall of what the stigma. What the stigma? <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, one miss, one hit. Okay, uh, it's 19 of 10. Yeah, 10 definitely misses. <laughs> Eight. Eight points of damage. Okay. Yard class whoosh, fires off from the distance and hits it. <laughs> one spirals away. From somewhere. Uh, Cassian, Can you I... are grappled and restrained by this thing, so you are at disadvantage for your attack rolls, and you cannot move. You can well, try and escape. Well, um, is, is that an action? That's an action, isn't it? It would be an action to escape, yes. I think get one action, but I can attack twice. Yes, your attack action is, is two action. attacks. Um, I will... Oh, Sing a rainbow. <laughs> Sing a rainbow to... Um... Ow, I'll try and get out of the next round. Um, I'll wreck this attack. Okay, so it cancels out the disability. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's oh. It's attacks that are against you at advantage anyway, so... Yeah. Fifteen. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that is... Seven. Nine points of slashing damage. Nine slashing as you bring the ass up and... Quite done! <laughs> and again... That is a uh, same 15. Yep. Damn it. That's a uh, four, six points of slashing damage. Slashing damage. Anything else? Yes. Still be aura. Uh, 20. Oh, Jesus. Uh, three points of lightning damage. Okay. It is just about holding together. Let's go. Uh, so Let's go. It's still caught up in all this going on. It looks around at you and Smokey and comrades that are firing stuff at you, and it is going to blast out its point, its thorn spray at the both of you. So you and Smokey make Constitution seven throws, please. Seven throws. Damn it. That's not very good. Seven. Uh, Smokey gets a natural twenty. Nice. Both succeeded. So you both take uh, quick maths. You both take nine points of poison damage. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Fine. But that is its turn. It is looking very hurt. Palimpsest. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> can I have um, Sentinel? Uh, it's not made an attack against it. It's Sorry, just a very base. Eighteen. Yeah, it hits. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to nine points fire damage. Nine points fire damage. As you blast this firebolt out, it hits into the the skulls inside it and lights it up from the inside, which causes something inside its center to ignite. And unravel and the whole thing just to the ground. You are no longer restrained. Yay! So the question becomes my my rule says <laughs> only aggressive actions until either he or a friend loses consciousness mm. or there are no enemies remaining. I am still maintaining concentration on the spell. You are. So in in Pal's mind, are there enemies remaining? 
threat of an enemy is I will near. say, make a wisdom saving throw for this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm rolling very well tonight. 21. Yes, 21, okay. Well. Think about it. Pal still considers there to be an enemy present because he is maintaining the concentration on the banishment to keep the enemy away. If he stops doing that, the enemy will come back. Therefore, he will continue to take aggressive actions. Ooh. <sighs> right. Do I also need to roll a con save? You do need to make a con save to see if you maintain things. Um, you can choose to drop the concentration. But that was a 20, you said. 21. Yeah. Would a pal think to do that in this moment? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think he would. Okay. So I'll maintain concentration and his teeth will be gritting. Um, really? You and your teeth. Yeah. Not looking. Altogether in control of himself. No. All right, that brings us to Smokey. Smokey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Smokey's just looking around. There's nothing to kill at the moment, and just sort of looking yeah. up at you. I will, um, I will, I will fly on up and perch on Cassian's shoulders. Yeah. That's my usual position. Yep. There's a little stormy aura going around with your little dragonoid sat on your shoulder. Yeah. Looks cool. Great. Um, I'm kind of just waiting, I guess. Okay. Uh, how obvious is it that Pow is? I guess from the red eyes thing. I mean, you, oh, to be fair, you are probably about yeah, eighty feet away. away yeah, you're about eighty feet from him. I am just waiting. Okay. Pod. Stroll back towards everyone. I don't know if they're doing anything. All righty. Stroll back in. Well, not everyone. Yes, yeah. Get back to okay. near where Pal is. Dropping a rage, presumably? No. If... <laughs> <laughs> your, rage, your rage does fade if you don't make an attack. Yeah, but we, we said that if I stole your aura myself. Yes, you could shock yourself if yes. you want to. But... So roll a deck save and then damage against yourself. Deck saves are with advantage when you rage. Yeah, you know it's coming. I'm sure. Don't you <laughs> say. It's not even, not even raging, it's just. That's fair. That's fine. It was. I still didn't. No way. I didn't. I'm say. resistance lighting damage anyway. Two. Two. Yeah, I'm resistance lighting one. damage. Yeah. So one point of one point. You damage. shock yourself for one. Mm. And that's exactly how you do it. The vine is there. Pow. Cassian is walking Robin towards you with hair. this, with the dragon on it, and Pod is also walking towards you. One to ten, eleven to twenty. And once one, I will send a firebolt at Pod. Whoa! There's an 18 on the die, so... Wow. <laughs> 25. Damage is about to go down. Oh, no. Uh, that's 13 points of fire damage. Ow! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Damn. This, you now see his... Um, Pal is looking down, just on there. Oh, Looks between the two of you and... <sighs> the larger threat. The larger... Well... The bigger target. The bigger yeah. target, the less yeah. known threat. Yes, the less familiar. Blasted with a bolt of fire. Um, Smokey. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I think Smokey is... Confused at the minute. That was probably some floaky. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to. I'll. I'll take the dodge action for this turn and wait to take my lead off from Cassian. Let's go right behind Cassian's hair and just sort yeah. of crouch there for the moment. Cool. No worries. Great. Uh, you just see this happen. Yeah, I do. I want some more time to have a look at my spells, see if there's anything I can do to help. We gave him the staff. God. <laughs> 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 the staff's had nothing to do with any of this. Yet. That we know. Bar. 
You gained the staff and now you're yeah, acting now all this evil. Is weird. We're going to turn, yeah, we're 100% jumping on this. 100%. I was start. Coincidence? I, I think, think not. <laughs> I will start running towards Pal. Yes. Direction. Which means I'm still like a good chunk of the way out. Is it anything? You're like 50, yeah, 55 feet away. I will. I can't really do much. Oh, no, wait, how far away am I um, from Pod? 55 feet. Is oh, he? Well, well, as you know, side. are you actually. No, uh, no, you'd be 30 feet away from him because he. Oh, that's perfect. That's great news for me. Uh, I will attack him. No, I'm just kidding. I will. <laughs> Shock and grasp. We like to lie about that. I will cast Sanctuary. Okay. Uh, just uh, in that's case this goes on. So as you, <laughs> you sort of reach into your pocket, oh, you just <laughs> grab a few like random yeah. little bits and screws and just sort of throw them out. Yeah. It just creates this sort of loose netting of filaments and stuff that just sort of. A distraction. Go course. around, yeah. Go around his head and just sort of whir around. It's kind of like a beekeeper's hat. Just sort of perfect. Uh, that's my bonus action. So with my action, I will dash okay. to get closer to to everyone, basically. But I'm still not going to get that far because it's only 25 feet. So. Well, you were 80 was, feet away, so you yes. can get to within 30 feet of perfect. Pal. Fine. Okay. Fine. Um, pod. 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 That fucking hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and I said I'm, ro I'm rolling disturbingly well tonight. <laughs> it's almost like an evil mew. <laughs> oh, there goes Sanctuary. <laughs> 21 and a 14. Yeah, thank Perfect. Yeah, Sanctuary has now gone, Ross. Okay. I did like that when he cast it. Yeah. <laughs> 13 and an 8. 21 points of damage. Uh, I need to make a constitution saving. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, 17. You're that fine. <laughs> You're fine. This is probably being sorcery. You're good at the cons. <laughs> He's good at one thing. <laughs> Cassian. Um, uh, did you want anything with your bonus? Um, I'll stop, like, as soon as, like, um, Pal throws a, throws a ball at Pod, I kind of, like, stop, and I'm like... Pal! <laughs> Two bolts come firing out from the pod and <laughs> impact into it. What is happening? Um, I try. Yeah, well, there's nothing for me to. I'm not going to attack anyone. I'm trying to. Pal, are you okay, buddy? Do you need some help? Do you require medical attention? <laughs> Do you need any of our oh, services? Oh, he's looking very rough. Yeah. Oh dear. You go to Stormy Rory yourself to keep the rage up. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, no. Okay. Uh, yes, I will actually. Okay. You have advantage, but it doesn't really matter. Um. D6. Three. One. Three. Uh, yeah, two. To you. Two points of lightning damage shot through like your little, knees. Little, 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 little sparks just zapping like, your ears. It's like a, uh, like a, it's almost like a hula hoop of like <laughs> lightning cloud. It's all like kind of, yeah, a little bit swirling sure. around, sort of, kind of swirling around me, but just like. I can keep it in an just sort of like, drifting around. Just little sparks of lightning. I've been assuming all this time that Cassian has like a rubberized shoulder pad. For the so smoky. <laughs> Not yet, but I might too. Uh, um, yeah, I, 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 would, I, just... I wouldn't want this an insulator. Yes. It would work. Um, all right. Uh, yes. Pal. Right. Well, the hippo hurts. Wisdom save first okay. for. Whether I should whether I should drop concentration. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do that first. So wisdom save first. Twelve. Uh, 
in this instant, from Pal's perspective, he has just been attacked by Pod. I would say in that moment, his focus would shift from the thing and shift onto Pod, which means you would drop concentration so the plant thing comes back, but Pod is your target. So did you... But I, do I notice that the thing has come back? In this exact moment, no, but you'll probably notice afterwards when everyone else goes, oh shit, to the thing reappearing in the middle of them. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, you would know that your spell has ended, but your focus is on pod. Yeah. So it's probably in your peripheral. In which case, I'll try something different. Cure hmm. wounds. Save self. Mm. Well, as as this is happening and you're sort of concentrating on things, the other plant thing <laughs> reappears next to you. Actually, between the three of you. What? It moved in its. In no, they just moved it. They just moved into the space where oh, it right. was. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay then. It's probably closest to grit more than anyone else. Fine. I'm going to try casting suggestion on uh, Pod. Okay. Uh, the suggestion so is once per day. The suggestion is kill that pointing at the. Vine ones are not as great. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have advantage on the saving throw because we have been cursing each other. Yes. Uh, I don't think suggestion has that actually. I think that's only particularly like um, sharp person. What's your number? Anyway? That's only for um, best buddies. What's your high number? 21. No, Which was the first, first number? 10. <laughs> Creature that cannot be charmed or immune to this effect it must be reasonable. Asking creature to stab itself, throw itself on the spear, immolate itself, or do something obviously harmful ends the spell. Harmful to itself, I would have uh, maybe not. It doesn't say that. Does I mean, it? yeah, it says do or do some other obviously harmful act. Mm. It's true. It's true. Okay. Mm. There's an <sighs> argument for self-preservation in that instance, but I will say you are compelled to. Kill that plant thing Just for a round. What is? I will not eat the dice. It's a dispel dice. Uh, but that is your action, and that is the end of that. So that brings us to Saria slash Smoky. Plant uh, thing has returned. It's Smoky. Yeah, but Saria hasn't turned yes. up yet. Yes. I know. I know. Plant thing is bad. That was being weird, but he said kill the plant. I'm I'm going to leap off yep. Cassian's shoulder and try to kill the plant. Sure. So you do, have, you do not have enough distance between you and the plant to make a mighty leap. Okay, I'll just make a normal leap. Yeah, that's fine. Style. Okay. Yep, that is the noise. <laughs> that is the noise dictated by our DM. Ah. No. Uh, <laughs> Bite attack first. Yes. Crit. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Natural. Yes. Two d six plus. MVP. MVP. Three. Do I double the fire damage on this? Yeah, technically, because it's part of the it's part of the bite attack. So yeah, mm -hmm. all the dice are doubled. Okay, four D sixes. Four D sixes. Eighteen damage. Oh boy. Nice. Well done, Smokey. Okay, that's his bite. So he comes burning down. He opens his mouth and conjures a little bit of flame into it, just wrapping around the teeth. So <sighs> just chomps into it, startled. <laughs> and then try and claw it as well. Sure. Yeah, you're up next. Yeah. 
Uh, I think a 14 hits. It hit before, didn't it? 14 just hits, yes. Just Ben. Just. For another eight slashing damage. Eight one slashing damage. Really, really nice. Yeah, excuse me. That's not a weak excuse. Spooky says, starts slashing away with his claws and getting into it, and then lets go and drops to the ground. Uh, great. You are up, sir. Um, can I create a fifteen foot cube without hitting Smokey on this thing? Because it's close to me, but obviously Smokey's. Also next to it. He's in there, melee with it, yeah. Is there an angle I can create in that? Uh, roll an intelligence check, such as spell saving, your spell casting ability. Uh, that's probably going to be good. Uh, that is a 20. Yeah, you can you can find an angle to hit that's it. I'm going to go back to back as well. Yeah, that's just like... Uh, okay. Okay, this is going to be a juicy <laughs> little... <laughs> little <laughs> <bun> <laughs> cool pins. No way. Natural twenty. Okay, uh, that is twenty-six. Uh, <laughs> we are Chris's card. <laughs> you just get half the damage. You don't move. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, off oh, Charlie, Charlie, off the corner. A fifteen. Hit <laughs> fifteen points of thunder damage. Actually. Half. Now half. Then to be halved. So eight. eight. Eight points of the zone as the burst of thunder. Oh, Jesus, still. Um, <laughs> it's because um, <laughs> The burst of thunder cracks out over the land, which sort of gets a, hey, what's that going over there? From the uh, from the village. Oh, good. Uh, but that is the end of the turn. They're oh, too yes. far away to help. Uh, I will try to move away. Okay. It will make a thorny lash at you. Yeah, I don't like Natural 20. Yeah. Oh, no. It was on an 8 and they went 20. Uh, Jesus, that stinks, dog. Oh, it's fun. You got that. Surprise. 25 points of slashing damage and you are grappled and restrained. Okay, in which case I will use my bonus action to uh, use defensive field again and get another 6 temporary hit points. Nice. Pod. Oh. I have to attack that thing. You have to kill that. The tree. The tree. Oh, uh, one hit again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Ten. Damage? No, you don't need. You turn and you fire a blast out. One of them spirals off to the side. You're, sort of, you're, not, you're not feeling compelled to attack at this exact moment. Although you are, but you're not, you don't really want to. So one, you're kind of resisting back and it just scatters off into the wild. But first, the other one hits it before you regain your consciousness. Of... Now I'm just about being mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm just hurt. Uh, apologies, can it take another no. uh, two points of um, Thunder Homie Roll 2D8, not 3D8? Okay. All right, uh, that is your turn then, Pop. Do you want to move or do you want to bonus action? Do do I will now move towards the rage monster. Okay. <laughs> that is Pal. That is Pal himself. The other rage monster. Hello. Hi, dear. Hello. I'd like to hit the tree, please. So, oh, kind of like. A vine. It's oh. a collection of vines and oh. skeletons. A collection of vines. Um actually a six second video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, defunct system. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like trying to like calm pal down as soon as I see the tree. I'm like well shit. Or <laughs> Sixteen. Hit. Yay! Choppy chop. Um, Choppy. Choppy. That is 30. <laughs> 15 points of slashing damage. Points of slashing damage, you bring the axe down and yeah. chop into his backside. And that is a 23. Yeah, that hits. Whee! 
That is oh, a wow, this is a big dive. Twelve. That's seventeen points of slashing damage. Wow. This thing wants to go back to the void. And I would like to store the <laughs> aura. Uh eighteen. That is two points of lightning damage. This thing is hurt. Um, Yay! This rabbit has faint. What is going on? <laughs> this rabbit has fainted again. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. your turn. Quite successful. Uh, it is going to yes. grab, holding you, to yes. spin around. And it's going to use its thorn spray on the three that are immediately close to it. Pop yeah. and pal, you are out thorn of this range. Thorn spray or poison spray? Thorn spray. On an attack? Poison no. thorn spray. Poison thorn. So, uh, con save from. Uh, what? There's a there's a Grit, Cassian, and Smokey. That will do. That will do, oh, Donkey. That will do. Swear they don't have anything again. Like, to be fair, my phone safe is actually quite boosted. So, yeah. uh, Smokey! 16. Okay, uh, Smokey takes 13 points of poison damage. He's not got much. Uh, 15? 13 points poison damage. 24. 13 points poison damage. God damn it. I'm still standing. 48. <laughs> God damn it, 48 still. That's more than some people started with. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pow, you have a hippo bearing down on you. Now do I see the plant? You do see the plant, yes. You don't kill that, but you have got a murder horse. You have also got a angry hippo. Underwater angry. murder horse inbound. <laughs> Interpret that how you will. An angry angry hippo. Angry angry. Yeah. He hasn't had his angry angry. 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 He hasn't had his forget today. I think I will identify the plant as the, if not the bigger threat, then the the uh, the one I should be. Because Smoky just need a quick drink. So, bolts on the plant. Do you ever make a drop? <laughs> well, I thought I could hear the wet stump of your fine. 16. 16 hits. <laughs> 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 right, sorry, right. uh, 13 points of fire damage. 13 points of fire damage. Very nice. Okay. I would really like to heal myself, but my own rules tell me I can. No. Me too. I'm not capable. <laughs> uh, Smokey. I have big ouchie. Uh, I will continue trying to kill this plant. So I guess bite first. Go over it. Uh, Smokey. Nom nom. Oh, Ooh, I don't think a 12 is going to cut it. Nope, that does not do it. That's not and possible. And claws. Could not jam my baguette. <laughs> but a 20 should. <laughs> 20 should. So as Smokey comes up, goes to try for the bite, catches onto the one of the skulls and the bones that's caught inside it, and doesn't get any purchase on the bite, but does manage to rake a claw across it, dealing. Nine slashing damage. And we're flashing out very nasty. Scratching away at the vines. No, it's like the damage. Hey, you've some Jeremy. <laughs> See? <laughs> Great. It's <laughs> 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 like the best dad joke you've ever made. <laughs> Okay, you're just punching because you're restrained. I will take that still anyway. I think uh, first attack. Ooh. That looks like a three. That uh, is. That would be a number to hit and 11 to hit. No. Looks like a three. Walks like a three. And uh, then my three. second punch. That number three. That's another three. Mm. Uh, slightly worse. I hate it. No, neither of those hit. Okay, cool. That's great. Yeah, nice. Cool. Okay, that's my turn. Pod. You are now <laughs> up, getting up close and personal with the angry fire demon. Is your eye still red? Yep. Yeah. 
Can I make an insight check as to see what this is before I just jaw the fucker? Make an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you going to punch him or are you just going to No, I'm going to bite him. <laughs> oh, shit. It's bad. Are you a guy, man? I don't Five. You okay, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you good? You can? You good? <laughs> you have no You're idea. Getting much out of him at this thing. Nope. You have no idea what's going on. Oh shit. Chomp? Chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> what do I add to a chomp? <laughs> this will be up to you. Have have a, a does it have a melee attack? You have a bite attack as part of your feet? No. Oh, <laughs> just, 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 is it normal behavior? No. You just has yeah. a really big mouth. Yeah. Okay, uh, sure. I'll say that this, so this is an um, unarmed. unarmed strike. So proficiency and strength. Fifteen. No, thirteen. It's, that's that's above my AC. I will One say, point of damage. I'll say because of your mouth size. Why would go bite or just a running headbutt? <laughs> It's fine. We'll do the bite. We'll do one d four plus your strength. Ooh. Minimum of one. Five. Oh, uh, I am down. Okay. okay. I had three. <laughs> I eat him alive. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you bite him? <laughs> just like slow. Oh, chest. Like a baby oh, bird. No, that happens if I actually die. The uh, the chest of barrel. Yes. You're just not. Neck. Neck. Okay. Jesus Christ. Um, very gory, very and you <laughs> flop down to the ground as you feel the two bottom teeth of a hippo just crush against your windpipe and it oh chokes you out. God. And just kind of. All on the ground. Okay, that happened. <laughs> it took a turn. Um, yes. Do I see Picard this happen? Same Picard, he's got consistency. His character's yeah. both over the net. A Viking. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh... That's what, you, that's what you're trying to tell us. Yeah, you it? see, you see this with your. <laughs> what we heard, Elijah just turned into a hippo. He just yeah. Yeah. he can't let go of old habits. <laughs> it's just guys, it's hippo. I told you, I, every night. Just love it. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm um, did not go off when you crossed the bridge. Uh, so. Um, I did. I think I'm right. Yeah, right. I'm right. I'm right. Keep the gift skin hanging around, <laughs> just <laughs> in case. Um, your own bag of holes. <laughs> it's the reverse side of your suit. The vines are still there. Oh, oh yeah, true. <laughs> I will go for the vines again, please. Okie dokie. Later, hose and That's the first one. Oh, that's the natural one. That misses. Oh dear. Keep suspicion at minimum. That is an 18. That hits. So whatever is. that is. Yay. That is. Ooh, that, rolls that was just keeps going terrible. Going down, 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 down. Um, that is eleven points of slashing damage. Eleven points slashing. Is that so dumb? Yeah. Uh, that is an eighteen on the lightning sails. Oh. Aha! One. <laughs> One. Your sheep. save was irrelevant. <laughs> One, One sheep does plenty. <laughs> How? It... Actually, no. It's the vines turn. That's, that's handy. Let's see if the vines get it to rain. Yeah. Adult care. <laughs> One sheep does not do that. I can assure you. No. It does get its spawn spray back, so it's going to blast the three of you that are within its radius. Let's again. So, go. one saves for Grip, Smoky, and <laughs> Cassian. This really shouldn't have been. It's a very low level encounter. Yeah, but we turned them off. That's true. Um. I yeah, mean, no. I made an interesting character with uh, with personal yeah. demons in all sorts of ways, but yeah. it hasn't helped. It never does. <laughs> 16? Uh, you take 9 points of poison damage. Oh. Oh, I'm still 9! Trying. You take 17 points of poison damage. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry? Oh. Spooky. 19. 19? Uh, 9 points of poison damage. Oh, boy. Okay. Still, still going. How? Make a death save, please. A bit of a poorly spoken. Okay. That's an 18. Mm-hmm. One success. Very good. Very good. Smokey! Oh, really? Smokey hurt. Smokey is hurt. No. Smokey used his firecracker. So- Smokey bite. <laughs> Smokey bite. Nope. 
Smoky claw. Oh, that was a two. <laughs> hey, 16, I claw. That'll hit with the claw. That'll do, donkey. Ten slashing. Yeah, I'm one slashing. How does Smokey want to do that? Yes. Oh. God, MVP. He bit onto the skull, but wasn't able to bite hard enough to crack it. Yeah. But then takes the, his claws and breaks the vines away from it and slashes the centre of the thing apart. Very nice. So he climbs up and gets into the the sort of the full guts and innards of it and just rips them apart, pulling each of these vines limb from limb, each strand falling away as making just frenzies out through it. Awesome. He's still going, even to the point that everything has long since landed on the ground and grit is free and clear, but just covered in vines. And then perches on on one of the scores and goes, Smokey! Yes. Mm -hmm. He's very happy with himself. Mm -hmm. I will run for some cure wounds in case on power. Yeah, I'll disabled. Get some nugget. Uh, you cannot get there for a cure wound. You are 30 feet away. Oh, for a round. Okay. No. I'm just shy. Okay. I won't run. Well, I'll run as far as I can. Okay. You talk a lot them. You're close. No, no way. <laughs> An extra five feet. <laughs> I lie on the ground. Well, actually, to be fair, you would have been prone, so I would have. Kind of made yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit, so, yeah. See, if I had been in my hospital armor, I could have the ability where I don't feel prone. Oh, no. uh, Apart from a still within five feet for short anyway, so. Arguably, it's more annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. That's great. Pod. Oh, God, I've overdone it. <laughs> <laughs> Try and do a medicine check. Sure, make a medicine check. Oh, God, I've done a not again. <laughs> I swear to run away from the last group. I rolled a 10, but I'm not wise. It's a 9. Oh, <laughs> misses, unfortunately. So you go to try and help. You're not sure <laughs> the physiology. <laughs> Just putting pressure on it. Yeah. I need some help over here. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you stopped five feet away? <laughs> Wait, I've got it. Old Daisy check. <laughs> Just slide him along the ground. <laughs> can, I, can I pick him up and put it on him? <laughs> he had to get up and throw, so he's a little bit. Yeah, I'm bad. 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 How far am I away from... Maybe. Oh, yeah. Your movement's 40, you're fine. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll go... I'll run over and try and do, like, a medicine check. Sure. Just to, like... Get <laughs> all two hands, people. All downs on deck. Yeah. That's an 18. <laughs> he runs Those over... bite marks are very <laughs> obvious. <laughs> God, why are you holding his leg? It's his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going my back. Go. He has a very flat contusion just there. She's like an inch wide. We need to keep them warm. Take my later. Spoon him. You don't scare contact. <laughs> You rush over, you start to apply pressure, and the electricity that sort of surges through just starts to spark. Click! Yeah. Click! Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. Click! Back into the system, so you're stabilised, no longer dying. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, yeah. you start to hear the sort of sounds of like a bell clanging over at uh, Fossinger. Lunchtime! <laughs> 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 You've got meat on the menu, boy! Looks like meat back on the menu, boy! <laughs> and there's a couple of people starting to trot their way across the bridge. Oh. Quickly. Among them, Isaria. <laughs> oh. But it'll take them a little while to catch up to the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Grit okay. eventually gets up He's to okay. and casts the cure wound. Nice. Uh, Three points of healing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Minus uh, 16 points of healing. Oh, nice. That's a good chunk. Go his eyes. 
and cast Fireball. <laughs> So my hands are just like staring. My eyes are now their normal silver. Has the blood stopped? Blood has stopped. That's why they're silver. Yeah, but don't worry, who is left? <laughs> with the pressure with big yeah. I don't take my hands off. <laughs> that was me. That was not the star. The star wasn't working yet. I did wonder. That's the first thing you said. It was not the star. Are you sure? What's that about? Um, you that okay? was me. Um, um, yes, lo- losing control a little bit. Maybe we should all so get... it should be <clears throat> losing control a little bit. Yeah, okay. I think, uh, his trachea is probably a bit bruised, yeah, just a smidge. Yeah, mm. maybe we should get back and we'll yeah. discuss. Um, discuss, but the bag's not on fire. <laughs> This should have come yes! <laughs> Silver lining and all. <laughs> we will tell people to stay away from this area. There are some deadly trees. But I am very sorry. And you were completely right to keep, to keep hurting me. Oh no, I feel validated. <laughs> That's not how I thought this was going to go down. Yeah, this, this might not... That might not be the best message to send to people. Don't hurt him normally. That's a I bit. I personally strange. thought what I did was a bit of an overreaction. <laughs> I I don't think it was. Okay. In all fairness, these were new. They are sinners. You could start a new fashion trend. That you could distress leather is all the rage. <laughs> I pick I help get Pal up on his feet and start taking him towards right. Dr. Foss Fingers. You start making oh, oh, Is Pod still looking quite hurt? Yeah, so is Grit. So is <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> In I think everyone, case, everyone's looking aromatic. white hurt. In which case, <laughs> we got to start off. I'm going to be much trees in the goddamn uh, desert. Mm. I'm going to cast just... prayer of healing. Sure. Uh, uh, so we'll around six, for ten minutes. Uh, well, we can go as we walk. I think. Yeah. As yeah. As we stay within range. Um, so as we go, everyone will get mm. <laughs> Gregorian chanting as he walks along. Do I want to read? Like uh, okay. Fourteen points of healing. Fourteen points of healing to everyone. Oh, I wish it was one forty. So fourteen points back for Smokey as well. Smokey, uh, oh. as you start making your way around and um, back towards it. Pulling thorns out of your skin and clothes. Ow. Ow. You, Ow. you come across a Ow. group of individuals Ow. led by Isaria, <laughs> sneezing apparently. Um, She's allergic to vines. Yeah. yeah. So seeing the forges. Yeah, indeed. Um, so yeah, Isaria leading uh, about three or four individuals, three individuals, we'll say, um, coming across with rudimentary weapons. You know. They haven't really gone around to forging swords and stuff because they don't really need to. It's more rakes and such. Oh, that, now they'll guards. learn their lessons. Yeah, they haven't really got much in the way of guards yet. Um, but they've got a couple of bows that they trot up with, sorry. Um, two of them humans, one of them dwarvish by nature. Uh, what happened? I, I heard a... Well, they heard a big commotion and came to get me. I assumed it was you. <laughs> well, you, you. You would be right. The bag was extinguished. The bag was extinguished. Um, we came out here to fix the bag and then we, we, were, um, we were interrupted by some plants that didn't like it. Didn't like us. We're okay. We're fine. We're okay. No. Now. Okay. I look around to check that everybody is indeed okay. I mean, okay is a relative term. They all look rather hurt. Cassian kind of looks the least hurt, relatively. 
but everyone does look somewhat in the half here. I'm alright! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Mm. It's okay. Um, we just will get the best to get back in and stay away from those bushes. <laughs> Not a good area. No. It might be worth. Um, I'm talking more to the others, not to mm. various area lists, uh, being aware that there's some killer finds. Right, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for them. Um, we'll make sure we, we've got sentries that patrol the walls. I don't know that, no, I don't know that. you know that. But... Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know who we mentioned mm -hmm. a few times. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can tell them a bit more about the monsters, but at the minute, I have very little voice. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. We'll discuss. Um, they they escort you back towards uh, into Fossfinger and get you somewhere, get to the tavern to uh, have a, a drink and a rest, and sort of plot about your day. Um, and I think that is probably a good point to stop for this week, and then mm. we'll pick it up next time yeah. as you start to plan where you're going to go next if need you have any other business to accomplish mm. in the town cool thank you very much everyone for joining us we shall see you on the next time do all the fun stuff that you would do on youtube please like subscribe ring the bell ring the bell, ring the bell. Ring the bell. comment tell us how stupid i tell yeah tell us how dumb we are and if you've got anything wrong yeah it's quite brutal now i didn't realize so it's like right the way you expect it to go. Dingle. 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 Uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Let's check out some of the other. You have two, two dads. No, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Check out some of our other stuff that we got going on, including our board game content and our top of the box stuff, which we're going to put some more content out soon. Uh, until next time, thank you very much everyone for joining us. We'll see you again very soon. Bye, everyone. Happy that dog. Happy that dog. Bye.